Hello. Sorry about that. I um I realized I hadn't called my mom, <clears throat> and I went ahead and did that at the very last minute. And I did remember to stop my timer, so so yeah, get fucked. Oh man, I'm so excited to play this game for another entire day. Hope you guys are doing well, having a good day, all that. Bro, Kel smells. I thought that was sniffing sounds. I think you smell a little bit, probably. I wonder why it's not a good time to go to his place. That's so weird. What a weirdo. Planetoid sized ass cheeks. Am I just a dumb idiot, man? I could swear that Basil lived there. I guess Basil lives here. Yeah, I just don't know anything. Well, I have to imagine that Basil is not dead, at least. My dog Lucas ran out of the door again. He's always trying to get out of the house. Sometimes I wonder if he only lives here for the food. Where'd he go this time? Why is there two of me? You mean Sunny instead of Amori? Oh, sorry, I thought I was about to pick something up from that, like Pokemon or some shit. So basically, um, the, this is the real world. The other world is like a fabrication. We made it up. Our, it's a story from our writers. Sorry, that was a joke for Entrance. Um, it is good. Thanks for the 17 months. The other world is, um, like a, like a fantasy world that I've created as like a coping mechanism because of the death of my sister. Oh, Basil's here. I should be reading this out loud, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Did you want to hang out with us today? Sunny's not going to be around for much longer, you know. I don't know. M maybe tomorrow. Sorry. Uh, don't worry. You don't have to force yourself. You we can always catch up later. Yeah, you're right. O okay, then. See you later, then, I guess. Can we always catch up later if I'm literally moving away in two days? You know... I'm feeling like no. Brown hair lady? Wow, that is a nice view. All right, I'll buy the apple juice. I'll buy the apple juice. Yes, drink apple juice. You will enjoy it. Life's been kind of stressful lately, but, but people watching out here makes me, or helps me put things into perspective. I might make it a habit to come to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes to relax is to stop and smell the roses. That's right. Is there just like a shit ton of new trash out here every day? Wrinkly forehead? Hey pals, good to see you. These new recycultist folk that have been showing up are making a real big change around here. This is the first time I've seen so many people taking the initiative to pick up trash. Makes my job a whole lot easier. 
Something about them feels a little fishy, though. You think so? Is it because they wear recycle bin icons upside down on their head? Do you think that could be it? You think it's that they have cultist in their title? What does Basil say if you talk to him again? See you later then, I guess. Alright. God damn it, Basil. Whew. Making patties is hard work. But once I sink my teeth into that tender, juicy burger, it's all gonna be worth it. Mmm, I can almost taste it now. <laughs> Dear, pay attention. The patties are burning. Oh, shoot. Thanks, hon. That was close. Hey, neighbor. How's it going? Hey, Kel. Oh, and who else, who else is with you? Oh, wait. I recognize you. It's sunny, isn't it? Sorry, it's been a while. I think we only met a few times. My family's always lived here, but I was just sent off to boarding school for a few years and just came back about three years ago, I think. Hey, Sonny, Chris is my next door neighbor and she's really cool. She's the fastest swimmer in school. When she's in the water, people compare her to a mermaid or a shark or even a torpedo. Oh, Kel, you're never short on compliments. Aren't you trying out for the junior varsity basketball team this year? I'm sure you'll be a shoe in. Well, I'll try. I've been playing every now and then with strangers at the park. I think I'm getting better, but it's a little hard to tell. But if I practiced basketball as much as you practice swimming, I'd probably have a better chance. Well, I'm not that hardworking. It feels like fun to me, honestly. And besides, even though I love swimming in pools, I love swimming in the ocean even more. I love everything about the ocean. The beach, the sound of the waves, even the smell of seaweed. Sorry, I must sound a little obsessed. That's totally fine. It's good to be passionate about something, isn't it? I guess. Actually, I think this all started because I went to boarding school on an island and really enjoyed my time there. The ocean reminds me of the friends I made there. I hope maybe I can see them again one day. But for the time being, I guess I'll just be collecting seashells and stuff. You know, that story kind of reminded me of this, but Sunny is actually moving away from here really soon. Maybe you can give him some tips on how to handle moving away to a new place. Oh, Sunny is moving? Hmm. Well, being away from my friends is pretty tough at first, but change is just a fact of life. It's the memories we make with them that we should cherish. <clears throat> you know what? I just decided something. If you see any seashells, can you bring them to me? They're kind of hard to find around here, but I'll make sure it's worth it. Cool. That's kind of what I thought that was getting around to. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm pretty sure we gotta stop at Gino's Pizza and the Bakery and Other Mart. Lead the way, Sonny. As I was saying, can you believe and her, but then? Mm hmm. That was like the time we. Yeah, and then, honestly, I think that. Yeah, definitely. Okay. I hate the guy that parks like this. Who does this? I hate them. <clears throat> Yesterday, while I was eating a banana, I found a cool overgrown lake area just behind the park. But soon after, a bunch of hooligans and scooters rolled in and kicked me out. And to make matters worse, they even threw away my banana. I can't let a bunch of kids boss me around. I'm an adult now. A young adult, at least. <clears throat> A lot of people do park like that, yeah. That's true. Gino's Pizza is the bomb. This is one disgusting, dirty, greasy looking cheese pizza, just the way I like it. Let's dig in. So, munch, munch, munch. We're still on, we're still on to go to our secret hangout spot today, right? I'm gonna bring my fishing pole, Munch. Made it myself, Munch, out of a cool stick and a jump rope yesterday. Do you think it'll work, Charlie? Heh. <laughs> so we're going to our secret hangout spot, Munch. That's a perfect date spot, Munch. I'll be sure to bring one of my special ladies. Swimming, Munch, 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 Munch. Sounds? Munch, 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 munch. Pretty fun. 
Well, Munch, while you're all fooling around being babies, I'm going to be busy skipping rocks. I've been looking for the perfect Munch rocks all week. Heh. <laughs> You can try all you want, Kim, but you'll never beat Aubrey's record. Shut up, Mikhail. Like any girls would actually want to munch, go to the lake with you without you paying them. I told you to call me the Maverick. Ah! I bit my tongue. <laughs> what a loser. Fwah! Master, are you hurt? You... You pay for this, Kim. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Gino's Pizza. What can I get for you? Hi, I'm here to pick up an order. I see. What would you like? Oh, I know. Would you like pizza? Nom nom. I think my mom phoned in an order for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm just here to pick it up. Oh, I see. You're the family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza. But it's on the menu, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, you're right. I guess so. Okay, I'll go get it. What's up, Metal Metaland? <clears throat> you know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's why my brother's nickname is Hero. You'd think it's because of some really cool reason, like he saved a puppy when he was a kid or something, but no, he just really likes sandwiches. What the fuck is his actual name? I didn't know his name wasn't Hero. I mean, I guess it makes fucking sense. Okay, here's your hero sandwich. Please enjoy. You got Kel's pizza order. Cool, thanks. All right, we're good to go now, Sonny. I'm ready when you are. Now we just need to get the cookies from the bakery in Other Mart. So Aubrey won't talk to you. Ah, oh, my tongue. Oh, yeah, I remember this guy. Dang it, I'm trying to fix this old arcade machine, but I'm missing a rare and important piece. It looks like it was just bitten off right here. I wonder where it could be. Hmm. He was pissed about that. I don't know why. Kind of insane. I'll deliver some pizzas. Cool. <clears throat> I wish getting a job was this easy. So do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? Uh, I'll just start with the good news. So the good news is we got three different pizza orders. The bad news is our delivery boy suddenly called in sick yet again. These customers are all our regulars, so we stopped recording their addresses a long time ago. I can't remember where they live off the top of my head, but I do remember what their houses look like. Here, just take these notes and you'll be fine. Pizza Man gave you his pizza notes. I'll go grab your uniform. <clears throat> Don't be shy. Wear your uniform loud and proud. Now remember, you have three pizzas to deliver. When you're done, just bike your way back to the shop. I'm counting on you. Can you find the house with the purple flowers by the window and the tether ball in the yard? What took you so long? Gino's pizza is really slipping these days. I fucking walked straight there, you pussy. <laughs> you were the first person in line. This pizza goes down the street to the house with the tether ball and the garbage on the left side. Thanks. 
Against all odds, you have successfully delivered the pizza. Take the pizza to the house that has the flamingo and... and something on the driveway and the purple roof. What could look like that? Can anybody read that? Maybe truck? The flamingo and truck? Trees? Oh shit. Trees might be it. The flamingo and trees on the driveway and the purple roof. That was easy. It's literally the first house. I would just say that he had a dirt driveway with flamingos around it. Like, how many people have that? Only him. My older daughter's coming home tonight from college. I'm sure she'll have lots of tips about what's hip and cool these days. Oh, ho, I can't wait to catch up with her. Oh my gosh, my crush is sitting right there. What do I do? What do I do? Breathe, BB. You gotta be cool. Is it him? My wife keeps telling me that I'm getting chubbier and tubbier. No, it's not. It's not him, I hope. But I just can't help myself when we live so close to Gino's Pizza. I really shouldn't get anything, though. Last night, my wife smelled pepperoni on my breath and got really mad. I hate when my wife smells the pepperoni on my breath. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna try to do the tutor stuff. After I get this bread, am I right? Gamers. There's so much shit to do in the real world. We're not going back to your house yet, bitch.
badness. We're rolling, dude. Oh shit, three star sticky hand. Let's go. None of these do anything. So you can try to steal stuff, is what that tells me. A slinky. That one star, though. Two star slinky. All right. Okay. All right. I wonder if this is like you always get the same shit. Two star hand. One star hand? No. All right. This is a three star slinky. Oh, wow, a three-star keychain. Two-star keychain. Now this is definitely a three-star slinky, right? Bro, a four-star keychain? Let's go. Huge pull. Three star slinky? I knew it was coming. I feel like it I feel like there's like a pool that it pulls from. You look in the machine and see that you already have everything. <laughs> no achievement for that? That's insane. That chimera keychain's sick. Come on. I could buy some of this music too. Celestial CD. Lively CD, chill CD, oh fuck. Uh, I want to try to steal it, but I also don't want to face whatever consequences that has. I'm going to save it and then attempt to steal. Police boss fight, maybe. I don't want to have canonically stolen it, so I'm probably going to reload either way. I just want to see if there's anything with it. Okay. So there's just some dialogue about it. Kel's like, nah, you're not stealing that bitch. I like Kel. We'll organize some hammers and shit again. I just want to make sure I've got some good money. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, I know how it works. The song sounds like fucking Mario music to me. Or like Pokemon Snap music is what it reminds me of. I'm excited about that new Pokemon Snap, dude. I always grab the wrong thing. <clears throat> yeah, they just uh they announced a release date for the new Pokemon Snap and like a trailer. It looks good. I'm excited. I don't know how they're gonna get away with legally making a new professor whose name isn't a tree name, so you know, there's that, but aside from that, um, I think it is pretty promising. Mirror is not a tree. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's illegal. There's so many trees too. Why did they name his ass Mirror? Maybe in Japanese, the word for mirror is also the name of a tree. Also, maybe it's only in English that they name him tree shit. I don't know. Hey kids, how's your day been? My day's going okay. This, this stubborn leak is making my life hell. I was tweaking around with it more last night, but it's just gotten worse. Maybe it's time to call a professional. Ugh, no. What am I saying? My pride won't let me do that. I have to fix it myself. I'm coming back for you, you stupid leak. Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. Hey. Oh, Sunny. Let's go somewhere else. Kill! Son, is that you? What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be doing errands for your mom? Oh, hi, Dad. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Come on, Sonny. We don't have that really important thing. Don't we have that really important thing we gotta do? Yeah, we should go. Don't want to be late. All right, then. See you later, champ. <clears throat> yeah, I saw they added Sonic to PPT, too. That's pretty cool. I still haven't bought it or played it. I was pretty disappointed that they didn't balance the game. Wow, okay. Thanks, guy. Interesting. Oh. 
They weren't real. Let me let me go play that disc I bought real quick real quick real quick oh also let me see if I can buy anything from this place I, I never did that so he just sells flowers This is chill. This is a cover of Lost at a Sleepover by Omni Boy. <clears throat> does kind of kick ass. What's up, Sean? That's a cool song. I gotta sell my trash real quick, hold on. He hit it with the fucking basketball, dude. I punched it. No, my attack whiffed. Are you kidding me? Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. I did it. I defeated the bees. What a cool little cool little thing you can do there. Award-winning pie. What's up, Crate Llama? We're in the real world, Sabido. No. 
I love how shit sunny is at everything. <clears throat> Which makes sense. I just, okay, so before I go back, I just want to do one of the tutoring things, because I believe it is literally right here. <clears throat> no response, but the fucking thing. Bitch, are you kidding me? The fuck is this? I just found a dollar. It's my lucky day. It's kind of right in front of someone's house, but I guess it's still lucky. Am I at the wrong fucking place? There's no fucking way I am, right? Maybe it's because those flyers were from yesterday or, or something. This is a bonsai tree. Well, wow. it's wonderful. This is where it should be, right? <laughs> Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's one more street over. Is that, no, that's not possible. Because of that. Alright, I'm gonna go to the leak guy's house, I guess. I guess I should have done the tutoring yesterday. <sighs> Crate llama. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. This is the guy who fucking parks in the middle of two lanes, right? Am I insane? Is this not the leak guy? What up, Linko to Mayo? How are you doing? I'll check up on the cult. I mean the church. Wait, is this the guy? This is the guy. Fuck me, I'm an idiot. Are those the bananas? No. Sorry, I got excited. Oh, this is Aubrey's house. Yeah, I remember now. Here he is. You here for moral support or what? <laughs> I really appreciate it. Come on in. I'm almost done fixing this dang leak. I'm doing all right, Linko. Just chilling. I hope he gets it. Yeah, ha, 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 and good riddance. No. Ah! Huh? Found a seashell. 
Oh shit, we can go into the church now? So the preacher's here, that's cool for, for him. I wonder if I can go to the graveyard. Oh shit, I can. Oh, old man is here. Old beardy. Something in the air seems amiss lately. The spirits, they are howling. It sounds like they're preparing a welcoming party. Someone close by may be joining them soon. Eh, what's with that look? You think I'm crazy or something? Don't be so quick to judge. You'd believe too, if you've seen what I've seen. You're fucking wacko, old man. A headstone. Oh my god. Is the puzzle kid dead? Did the puzzle kid also die? This looks like the one that might be important. You know, when Mary passed away, Hero, Hero really stopped caring about everything. He didn't want to get out of bed for school or even eat. He stopped taking care of himself, stopped baking and cooking. It was like that for almost a year. Mom and Dad didn't know what to do either. We all tried to help him and be supportive, but nothing was really working. One night, I went over to him while he was all huddled in his blankets and started saying stuff. Stuff like how we all miss him and how we want him to get better. How everyone's really worried and how Mary wouldn't want to see him like this. I thought I was helping him, but... But Hero... Hero got angry. He suddenly got up and started screaming and yelling at me about a bunch of stuff. Some of it was pretty hurtful, too. But I think I had blocked out a lot of it. His eyes were already super red, but the more he yelled at me, the harder he cried. I tried my best to calm him down, but whatever I said just made him worse. I had never seen Hero do anything close to that before. It really took me by surprise, and I was so scared that, well, I started crying too. Eventually, Mom and Dad ran to our room and rushed over to hug him and calm him down. But they completely ignored me. <laughs> I think that's where Hero got his senses back, because he ran to me and hugged me right away. Just kept apologizing over and over. But at least Hero got a lot better after that. He started taking care of himself again and focusing on school a lot more and joining a bunch of extracurricular, extracurricular stuff. God, that's hard to say. Um, he's naturally good at everything, but he still works really hard, so I'm proud of him. I guess he's a little more closed off now than he used to be, but I'm really just glad to have my brother back. Anyways, sorry for the long story. I don't think I've ever told anyone that before. It's not his fault, but I still think Hero blames himself for Mary's death. Hero's never visited here, not even once. I know it really hurts, but maybe it might be good for him. I don't know. Fuck, I'd, I just want to like... I wanted to see if I could put flowers here. That's why I bought flowers. Just because I thought maybe I would be able to, like, place flowers. Bread. So all the headstones are just, like, a headstone. I can't even read this one. That's weird that it doesn't say a headstone here. That's weird as fuck. Could have been an oversight, to be fair. Teddy bear. Damn, what the fuck happened? I've been getting a strange feeling from the cemetery here all day today. That's weird. That's interesting. Definitely 
cool optional shit to find, you know? There's a lot of cool optional shit to find like that. It's the dog. It's a good dog. He really is a good dog. <laughs> Wasn't it this way? Where the fuck is Good Dog's house at? <laughs> good Dog. Well, I gotta take the seashell to this girl anyway. Wow, it's such a cute one. Thank you. The blue-haired girl is fiddling with something in her hands. Hey, no peeking! Oh, hey, you found a seashell. You gave a seashell to the blue-haired girl. Wow, it's such a cute one. Thank you. Hey, no peeking! Hi, Kellen Sunny. If you see any seashells, can you bring them to me? They're kind of hard to find around here, but I'll make sure it's worth it. So I haven't brought you enough? I wonder what she's trying to give me. Where the fuck is Good Dog's house at? <laughs> good Dog. Good Dog, where do you live? I'm finally getting like my bearings of where everything is, I think. For the most part. Did you find Good Dog? You sure did. You got trash. He gave me trash. Lucas, don't worry me like that. Hey, did you send Lucas back here? I'm sorry for the trouble. Here, take this. A paintbrush. Feels cool to carry around. I wonder where I can find more seashells. I feel like I found like a lot of them, right? If I found two of them, I mean, I feel like I've been pretty thorough. In the real world, there's no ramen in toilets and it's like kind of lame if you think about it. You know what this song reminds me of? is um I think it reminds me of the tomato store from Shenmu. <laughs> Am I crazy or does this actually sound quite a bit like that? Like it has a similar vibe to it, I feel like. It's that that comes in Before we go in, I should probably mention that my mom is going to be a little mad about me taking so long with the groceries. I was supposed to bring everything back around noon, but I got carried away doing other stuff and well, you know how it goes. But anyway, I thought of a solution for this. So I think you should walk in first. That way she'll see you first and get all excited. And most importantly, she'll forget to yell at me. <laughs> see, it's a win-win for everyone. Got it? Okay, let's go. Kel's house is sick, dude. What the fuck? Mom, Sunny's here. What took you so long, Kel? I sent you off hours ago. How long does it take to get a bunch of sandwiches? 
Oh my, is that Sunny? It must be. It's so good to see you again. Damn, it worked. But dear, you look so thin. Have you been eating properly? Here's the stuff you asked for, Mom. You gave the bakery order and pizza order to Kel's mom. Hurry, Sunny, let's go upstairs to my bedroom. Now wait just a second, young man. Bye, Mom. See you when dinner's done. Escape, dude. Fishing and golf books. How exciting. How to puff it, how to perfectly cook chicken. What a sick book. Yes. Great. But that's been a long time anymore. What is Quake? It's a first person shooter. It's a like the arena shooter. I mostly work because it's black and white and I got like a whole black and white motif going today. Um, which kind of fits whenever you're not in the real world in Omori. <laughs> is this your room? No. This is your bathroom, right? Who says that? Who says that? Who's like, nope, don't take a piss yet. I gotta show you my room, you fucking idiot. You better hold it. Oh my fucking god. Well, here it is. Make yourself at home. Look, I got a basketball hoop and a boombox, just like I always wanted. Here, I'll play a song for you. This is exactly what song I imagined he would have. Yep, it's pretty sweet. Mom won't let me play it too loud, though, because she says it's bad for Sally. Oh, wait, you haven't met Sally yet, huh? Ah, guess what, Sonny? I'm a big brother now. Sally's my baby sister. My mom will probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute. Kel, there's a girl at the door. She says she's here to see you. Huh? I wonder who that could be. Are these heroes trophies? It, they hella are. The greatest man to ever live. Look at all the medals on the walls. Kel's only award. Annual hot dog eating contest participant. <laughs> That's so fucking funny, dude. Hey, Kel. Hey, it's Sunny. Sorry for intruding. I was just wondering if you know where Basil is. I thought he might be with you. Basil? Hmm. We did see him at the park earlier, but that was a while ago. If you see him, can you tell him to come home? I'm really worried about him. Of course, Polly. We'll be on the lookout. Thanks. I knew I could count on you guys. <laughs> Basil's missing today? I have a bad feeling about this, especially with Aubrey and the scooter gang around. Maybe we should try to find him before it gets dark. Can we go look for him, Mom? Pretty please? Well, that girl did look awfully worried. Okay. Just make sure to be home by dinner. I feel like Hero is going to be, like, nowhere near as great as we remember him. Like, he's going to be a fucking asshole or something. Because nothing is, nothing is good in this game. This is where we last saw him. Man, where could Basil be? I don't see him anywhere. Somebody, help! Sonny, did you hear that? I think that was Basil. Help me, please! Where is his voice coming from? Hold on a sec, I know this area. Basil's voice is coming from our old hangout spot. The entrance should still be around here somewhere. You suck balls, Kel. You walked right onto it. Uh, 
Help me! Somebody! What the heck are you yelling for, Basil? You're making a scene. This place is our secret hangout spot. You can't be here because you weren't invited. Dang it, Basil. Be quiet. Someone's going to find this place. Yeah, we're not trying to hurt you. We just want you to get out of here. But why? Hey, stop it. What are you doing to Basil? What the... Grumble, grumble. It's Kel and Sunny again. Why do you always show up? How did you even find this place? Come on, Aubrey. We got to defend our turf. Aubrey. <sighs> Go away, Kel. You're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, this is your spot now? Well, this used to be our old hangout spot, wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it or we'll mess you up. Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then at least stop bullying Basil. We weren't even doing anything to him. He just started screaming for no reason. Yeah, sure you weren't. Why should I believe you? We're telling the truth. Stop being such a self-righteous prick. Come on, guys. Let's make sure this is the last time these two mess with us. That sounds good to me. I'm right behind you, the Maverick. <laughs> oh, god damn. Let's settle this, Kel. If you and Sonny are going to pick a fight with me and my friends, you got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach him a lesson. I'm hella about to get my ass kicked. Oh, they're one entity. Okay. Sunny's attack seems to be worthless without, um, without Kel encouraging him. The Maverick winks at Kel. I think it's really interesting that Sunny's attack is worthless until until Kel helps him out a little. So hard. <laughs> like literally, how did I not buy enough bandages? I bought so many. Sunny's attack is so bad. Hmm. 
it hit before the first aid. They're just going to kick my ass. It doesn't matter. Serves you right, nerds. Dang, sorry, Sonny. Why did I think we could take on six people at once, even if they are a bunch of dweebs? It's over, Kel. Leave this place. You don't belong here anymore. No, I won't. I can't just leave here knowing that this is the person you've become. I mean, what would Mary think? Why do you keep bringing her up? Do I have to keep saying it? Mary's already dead. Can you stop with that? And while you're at it, drop the tough guy act, too. I don't believe you when you say you don't care about us anymore. You have all your new friends now, but you're still hanging out at our old hangout spot. Do I really have to spell it out for you? Yeah, inclines make it way harder to to run or walk. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Aubrey. He's just spouting crap like usual. Right, Aubrey? This isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Let's get out of here. You said it. It's so fucking hard to beat them with the setup that you have in this game. You coming, Aubrey? Oh, okay. Catch you later, then. Aubrey. Oh, God. Why? Why do you guys keep coming back? I just want you to leave me alone. Sonny, why? Why did you show up now? We just want you to stop messing with Basil. What's your deal with him all of a sudden? You used to be friends. We all used to be. You think I'm the bully, but you're all messed up too. Where were you when Mary died? Where were any of you? And you. You're the worst, Basil. How dare you still show your face to me after what you did? Aubrey, I... Get away from me. Oh my god. Who would ever do that? Shoot. What the heck, Aubrey? What are you doing? You've taken this way too far. Oh, wait, hold on. I didn't mean to. Sonny, don't worry about Aubrey. We'll, I'll keep her busy. Just go help Basil. I wonder what happens if you say no. Oh god. Time to become able to swim.
something drags you down. And persist is crazy. doing something wrong here. <laughs> oh shit. Is that world's greatest man? Hmm, it looks like Basil's breathing is steady. But we need to get him somewhere warm quickly. Yeah, he's had a rough day. Let's get him home as soon as possible. Wait, where do you think you're all going? What do you mean you tried to drown us, you fucking stupid bitch? That's enough. Don't you think you've caused enough trouble? Come on, guys, we gotta go. Thank God that hero is back. Glorious, beautiful hero. It looked like he had a Star Trek logo on his shirt to me, but I don't know. I really like this song a lot. That's me and Aubrey. We're gonna fade away when I click on us. That's so sad. I hate that. I hate the way you see your memories everywhere and they fade away when you click on them. <clears throat> Hello, kitty cat. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I forgot where we were going. Yep, I know where I'm at. His breathing is stable. He just needs a change of clothes and a warm bed. Okay, I can do that. Quick, come inside. Can you help me bring him to his room? Sure thing. Whew, 
Oof, that was intense. I hope Basil wakes up soon. Okay, this is the wrong room. Hey, Kel. Hey, Sunny. It looks like Basil's gonna be just fine. I heard from Mom that Basil was missing and that you two went looking for him. When I was running around the park, I heard some commotion coming from our hangout spot. I guess I got there right in the nick of time. What was happening back there? Aubrey, she pushed Basil into the lake. What? That was Aubrey back there? No way, she wouldn't do that to Basil. I'm sure there was some kind of misunderstanding. She's not the same anymore, Hero. She's become all messed up after you left for college. Aubrey. What happened while I was gone? Maybe I should have never left. It's not your fault that this happened. Things could have gotten a lot worse if you didn't show up. You've done all you can. Come on, let's go home. <laughs> yeah, right, banana sock. You know, Sunny, you were pretty awesome back there, jumping into the lake to save Basil like that. Even if Hero ended up saving the day, I think you deserve some recognition too. How about a high five? Yeah, I'll high five him. I think I get an achievement for not high fiving him. But I'll high five him. How are you gonna not high five Kel? You get an achievement for actually high fiving him too, so it's like. Is this where you live? The Maverick? I am sensing an evil presence coming from inside my home. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I can never be too careful. You would fucking live right beside us, you shithead. Am I a good boy? Yes, I want to play with Hector. Hello? Hector. I did kick Sweetheart's ass, yeah. It was a hard fight, too. Kel, Hero, where have you two been? It's so late, I've been worried sick. Sorry, Mom, we got held up. But the good news is we found Basil and he's safe. Hmm. I'll have you know I spent all week preparing the chicken roast for tonight's dinner. And it's gotten cold. Oh, Mom, please don't cry. Don't worry, Mom. That's what the microwave's for. <laughs> oh, my poor dinner. There, there, honey. Cheer up. Today's a special day. There's no need to be sad. Look, Hero's back from college. It's good to see you back, champ. Thanks, Dad. Oh, your dad is right. There's no time for sniffles. It's good to see you back, Hero. We've all missed you so much. <laughs> oh, is that the baby? Oh, it sounds like Sally's awake. I'll go get her. Come on, boys. You must be hungry. Go on and help yourselves to dinner. Cool, let's go grab some food and heat it up. Damn, I picked up a whole ass turkey or something. You got a home cooked meal, but it's cold. You can heat it up using the microwave. Is that the fish? Oh no! I thought it would turn it off, but it restarted it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, thank you. <clears throat> oh, I was like, where is the microwave? I couldn't imagine having this much counter space, by the way. This would fucking blow my mind. Our kitchen is so small. It's the only thing I don't like about this house. If our kitchen... If this kitchen stopped at where the microwave is, and then none of the rest of that wraparound part or the corner existed, that's like about how our kitchen is, pretty much. It, uh, it blows. It's very small. So Sunny, I heard from mom that you're moving away soon. That sounds so exciting. Yeah, he is. Tomorrow's gonna be his last day with us. Moving might seem kind of nerve-wracking right now, but it really isn't so bad once you get used to it. I think it would be good for you, Sunny. You learn a lot moving to a new place, and it's nice to have a fresh start. I'm a little sad to see you go, but it'll be okay as long as we keep in touch. <sighs> we sure did have a lot of memories together. Sometimes I miss those days. Lazing around, eating food, drinking juice. Yeah, we did everything together. We went to the park, the lake, the beach. But honestly, what I miss the most is hanging out at your place, Sunny. You guys had everything. A big TV, all the newest toys, a grand piano, and of course, our very own treehouse. Oh yeah, the treehouse was awesome. I wonder if it's still there. Is it, Sunny? Looks like the food's done. Let's eat in the living room. We can continue chatting there. A pretty good pog champ. Ooh. You have the opposite problem. Half your kitchen table is full of useless junk, which you place there, and procrastination prevents you from doing anything about that until the last minute. Well, By the way, Hero, Basil gave Sunny his photo album already. Did you want to see it? You have Basil's photo album on you? Sure, let's look through the album while we eat dinner. I've seen all these. <laughs> I love I love Sunny's emotionless face here. So those stuffed animals are like some of the random people in the playground and like around the world. That's really funny. I didn't notice that. In the in fake world, fake land. I guess it's called Otherworld, maybe. bad that some of the photos are missing. Aubrey stole the album from Basil, but we got it back. Maybe she has the rest of the photos. Hey, Hero, what's up? Are you okay? Yeah, it's just that, well, Mary isn't in any of these photos. Oh, you're right. She isn't. Huh. This, still, this album really brings back some good memories. Things were a lot simpler when we were all kids. Sunny, I have a favor to ask. Do you think you could let us see your house one more time before you leave? Oh, that's a good idea. But you gotta convince Mom first. She's probably gonna be kind of mad about you not spending enough time with her and stuff. You know how she is. 
It's baby. Look at this baby. Phew, what a mess that was. Thought we made a little doo-doo, but she's all clean now. Whee! Ubu! <laughs> hey there, Sally. Peekaboo! <laughs> Stop it, Kel, you're scaring her. <clears throat> so, uh, hey, Mom. We were wondering if we could go hang out at Sunny's house today since he's moving away soon. Oh, but you just came back and it's already so late. What about spending time with your mom? I'm going to be here for the rest of the summer and Sunny's leaving the day after tomorrow. We have plenty of time to catch up. I think it's okay for Hero to spend some time with Kel and Sunny. I haven't seen Sunny around for a long time now. It's been a while since the boys have had the chance to hang out. I say we should let him. Ah, <sighs> fine then. You boys can have your fun. But Hero has to wash the dishes with me for the next week. Bro! Uh, sure. I guess I can do that. Hmm. Alright, you're free to go. Come on, Sally. Let's leave your mean old brothers alone. They don't want anything to do with us, do they, Sally? The melodrama. Hey, so I'm really glad that we got to hang out and everything, but I also feel pretty bad for leaving Mom all alone. Before we head to your house, let's go to fix it and get some flowers for her. I know she'd really appreciate that. Oh, I see you have flowers already. I, I think we should get my mom some fresh ones though. Fix it isn't that far off anyway. Oh, hero. Always a mama's boy. That's cool that I was thinking like I might go back and buy flowers anyway, just in case there's something interesting on the way there. Sorry, I want to explore this area a little bit, since we didn't get to literally at all before. <clears throat> I knew it. A blue picnic basket, nothing like Mary's. Interesting that you can't save it there. But the seashell girl is gone right now, which is fair. I feel like the secret forest area was hidden like it was in a zone that looked just like how you get to that our little hideout but i could be wrong i'm meeting up with someone but they're late don't tell me i've been stood up i'm going to get fish excuse me Hmm, I've never cooked for a whole party before. Maybe I was too ambitious this time around. Should I get something that's better quality or something with more quantity? How do I know which brand I should choose? Are green onions and red onions the same thing? Maybe we should have just cut in delivery. Hey, no need to stress about this, Karen. I believe in you. Besides, if no one else eats your food, you know at least I will. Oh, Sean, you're so sweet. What did I ever do to deserve someone like you? Lottie D, Lottie Da, Lottie D, Lottie Da. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let me some fish. Let's 
it's been nice firefing it's weird that they sell flowers at the fix it store to me i guess it makes sense because it's like they have a gardening department it's kind of like home depot what thanks hero what the fuck you want me to spend all of it you want five flowers Cat left a gift for you. You got trash. <laughs> Hooray. Hmm. Looks like I still have quite a bit to go before I can afford to leave town. Thank you. In return, I'll play you an original song. My dad was talking about how he was having trouble getting some kind of drop on Destiny that he needed to have to be really strong or something. And he said, I asked if it was a low drop rate and he said, the only reason I ain't fully leveled is because they're not random, anti-random drop rate. <laughs> I don't know what that fucking means. What does that mean? He's also trying to convince us that we should just get a scooter instead of a car. That's George Washington. That's not a Benjamin. It's literally the dollar symbol. Benjamin has glasses on. No, it's on Destiny. It's some shit on Destiny. Do we get to meet my mom? That would be crazy. Probably fucking not, though. <clears throat> Honey, you want to head home already? But it's not nighttime yet. Oh, sorry. Hmm, it looks like it's getting pretty late. We should probably head to your house right after this. Does that sound good to you? So that's like... This is the point of no return. mom I got you some flowers oh are these for me they're beautiful thank you ha ah, hero you're such a charmer just like your old man I don't like that that baby's on the edge of the bed while oh, everybody's turned around I'm sorry for overacting or well, I'm sorry for overreacting earlier I know Sunny's moving away soon try your best to keep in touch friends are harder to make the older you get Mom, that's so depressing. We'll be fine. Yeah, I'm sure you will be. Take care, Sonny. Know that you'll always have a home here. <clears throat> well, that's really nice. Hey, 
Damn, it is now night time as fuck. Nah, they're gonna be like, you can't go right. Oh, never mind, I'm wrong. Two cat? Yeah, that's what I'm interested in, the vending machine. There's cats fucking everywhere, dude. <clears throat> These goddamn cats, dude. It's really interesting that you can come here at night. <clears throat> it makes me think like there's gotta be something somewhere. God damn, is this cat city, dude? What the fuck? What does this guy say? <clears throat> <clears throat> I'll give you 10 whole ass bucks, dude. What do I need it for, you know? I got something special for you. Hold out your hands for me and close your eyes. You feel something cold on your palms. You got a gold watch. You like it? Since you've been so gracious, I thought I could spare you some of my wares. <laughs> That's real gold there, I swear it. Thanks, dude. Hmm. Oh, damn. He knows fucking turns up at 10 p.m. That's crazy. I didn't know that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I think it just starts serving alcohol or something. Just going on a whim here, but would you be interested in buying off my last pet rock? They usually go for 25 bucks, but you seem like just the right guy for this one. So I'll let it go for 10. Yeah, why not? You got a pet rock. Whoa, hold on a sec, Sonny. Is that a pet rock you just bought? Wow, I don't believe it. This is really strange since we haven't played since we were kids, but it just so happens that I have mine too. Right here, such a weird coincidence, huh? Hey, I have an idea, why don't we battle with our pet rocks? You still remember how to play, right? Yeah. Awesome, I thought you would. Oh yeah, I'm pumped. Now let's clash. Holy shit. It's Pluto, dude. You just do rock every time. <laughs> it is pet rock. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do paper every time. He did rock every time. Oh shoot! I lost. I guess I'm pretty rusty. Well, that's okay. You were always the one who was good at video games, anyway. I guess you're the same old Sunny after all. I know it's been a while, so let me give you a refresher. Pet Rocks is a game where you and your pets team up in battle or clash. If you wear your pet rock as a charm, you can find other players with pet rocks and challenge them. From what I hear, the reigning champ lives around here somewhere, but no one knows what they look like. Kind of mysterious, huh? Who knows? Maybe we'll get to meet them one day. 
Well, goddamn, how am I not gonna wear that? That's the coolest shit I've ever heard in my life. The most loyal rock. I'm glad I did this. <clears throat> That's really cool. I wonder if it's like one of these homeless dudes. I was thinking like who would be the least likely guy to battle pet rocks. I'll give you every other dollar I have. Thanks good lads. I'll be sure to pay you back somehow. I should have wore it. I should have put it on for him. I'm just going to sneak through these areas real quick just to take a peek. Make sure there's nothing interesting going on or anything like that. Is that a golden scooter? Am I crazy? No, that's just silver at night. Okay. <clears throat> Did you have a pet rock in World of Warcraft? I didn't know that was a thing. It's interesting that they had their lights on. I mean, it's only like 10 p.m. It's Aubrey's house, but she's up. I don't know who lives here and here. Dude, big cats. Big fucking cats. This is Cat City, dude. This is insane. <clears throat> That's sick, Sabido. Wow. It just hit me. It's been so long since we've been inside your house, even though we live right next door. Time really flies, huh? Yeah, it sure does. Let's go inside. After you, Sonny. Okay. Whoa, this place is cleared out, Sonny. Your house feels a lot bigger now that nothing's here. There used to be a couch here when we'd watch TV. We'd all come over every weekend and watch cartoons in the morning. Yeah, and this is the stain from that one time I spilled my orange Joe. Mary got so mad at me. Well, that's because her cat stepped in it and walked all over the house. Oh yeah? Huh. Oh man, it looks like it's getting too dark to see the treehouse. That's okay. Maybe we can come back tomorrow. Wait, I have an idea. What if we just stay over for the night? It's gonna be our last time in this house forever, right? And when will the next time we can when will be the next time we can spend the night with Sunny like this? I'd love to, but mom's not gonna be happy about it. She'll be fine. I'm tired of waking up at night because Sally's because of Sally's crying anyway. You're gonna wash dishes with mom for an entire week, aren't you? You deserve this. <laughs> Well, that's true. It'll probably be fine. We live right next door, so we'll only be a walk away. Can we turn a fucking light on? Are any of you interested in maybe turn- Oh, the power! Mom didn't pay the fucking electric bill, did she? I forgot about that. 30 dishes. Looks like you still have some chores to do before moving away, Sonny. Don't worry, I can handle it. I never know what to do with myself in the mornings anyway. Just think of it as a parting gift. Wow. Well, Hero, you're the fucking nicest guy in the world. Ah, oh, I remember this hallway. The closet was to the left, and the piano room was to the right. I wonder if the piano is still there. 
I'll go ahead and see. Don't judge me too hard. I haven't practiced in a while. It's going to be beautiful. Yeah. We get it, hero. You're incredible. Haha. <clears throat> <laughs> I guess I still got it. Hey, Sunny, that reminds me. Do you still play the violin? Oh, it's not here. I guess you already packed it up. There was this song you used to play with Mary. It still gets stuck in my head sometimes, but I don't remember what it's called. You two would play it over and over. We'd even hear it from our house sometimes. What was it again? I'm glad that someone's been taking care of Mary's piano. There's barely any dust at all. Man, all of a sudden I'm getting really sleepy. Maybe we should call it a night. That sounds good to me. I have to get up early for my morning jog anyway. But where should we sleep, Sonny? Probably somewhere in your room, right? I remember you used to hate sleeping alone. Yeah, that sounds fun. We can sleep on the floor. If anything, let's go find some blankets. Hold on, Kel. Wait for me. <clears throat> Excuse me. They said the closet was to the left, but I literally can't see it. There is nothing here. Is the closet filled with like my sister's things and like I'm blocking out the fact that it exists? That's absolutely what's happening. That's 100% what's happening. I was wondering where's the closet whenever mom told me about it the other day. Phone call from a random number. Bro, look at the boy shelter. Hey, Sonny, we built a bed for it. Hope you don't mind. This is all Kel's idea. I had nothing to do with it. By the way, Hero, Sonny and I got you a gift. Kel gave Hero's gift to Hero. It's Papa Chip's Chip Off the Old Block Cookbook. Do you remember this? Of course I do. Man, I remember when I wanted to be a cook. It seems so silly now. Hey, you were pretty good at it. I mean, you can still be a cook, Hero. Uh, it's okay. I don't have time for that anymore. But you really like to cook, don't you? And people have to eat, right? So, like, why not? <laughs> I don't think it works that way, Kel. <clears throat> He's literally already asleep. He's such a fast sleeper. Always been that way, I guess. Thanks for letting us sleep over, Sunny. I bet it's been pretty hard in this empty house, especially without Mary. Sorry I couldn't be there for you more. Everything feels so different now, but it seems like you've pretty much stayed the same. It's kind of relieving, to be honest. It's really nice to see you again. I just wish Aubrey and Basil could be here too. Anyway, sorry for ranting. It's getting late. I'll probably head to sleep soon too. Night, Sunny. I'll talk to you in the morning.
the other world time. Where are my friends at? Eternal banana. <clears throat> A thick fog envelops the entire forest. the same here and probably the other way too. Just making sure though. <sighs> Amori, you're here. I'm so glad you found me. Kel, Aubrey, Hero, and all the children are gone. There's a thick fog enveloping the entire forest everywhere except here. Maybe our friends are somewhere across the water. Let's find them together. Do you want to join me? I'm going to say no. I know you're scared, but I also know you can do this. Take all the time you need to prepare. I'll be here when you're ready. I do want to do this then. I do want to do this. Thanks, little brother. I knew I could count on you. I'll keep you company so you're not alone. I know you really hate that. You won't do. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. You are no longer afraid of drowning. I wonder if Mary drowned. I feel like probably. I like this misty area.
This poor photo. It's barely holding itself together. Oh god, is it infinitely scrolling down? It's actually not, which is insane. <clears throat> it's true, Lancelot. If there's something in here, I am about to find it. The music was spooky. This may take forever. I am going to do it. Sorry. Donkey Konga. No, you're fine, Lancelot. I think it's... I think it's pretty, um... on the subject to bring up stuff like that. You know. Well, we looked through the whole thing and there was nothing. That's wildfire. I used to be afraid of swimming, I think. And then my mom had me take swimming lessons. And I can swim now. That's nice. Oh my fucking god. You can just go? Is 
there's way too much shit here. There's way too much shit here. Is this the dead battery house? I think it is. Yeah, I kind of agree. Thanks a lot. Is this the same house again? I didn't mean to. I like it so far. Silver gold. I'm in deep, I think. How it wraps around on itself. Amori, I'm so proud of you. You swam all the way here, even though you've always been terrified of the water. But there's still one big thing you're afraid of, isn't there? Something a little bit harder to overcome. You'd have someone teach you or something. Might help. Where the fuck am I going? Omori, it seems that you've forgotten something important. Are you okay with that? I'm not too sure. <clears throat> You've seen this curtain once before. The last time we went to the lake. This is my stop though. I know I shouldn't have come. It just gets a little lonely without everyone. It's not my place to say anymore, but I hope you're still there, Sunny. I really miss you. Goodbye, little brother. Holy shit, this is crazy. Where the fuck am I? Spending time with a frog. One of the next things I have to do. Oh. Wait, 
waiting for something to happen. Okay. <laughs> sure. Planes carpool only, kid. Come back when you've got friends. <laughs> Thanks, Toll Gator. Hey, kid, you want to go somewhere cool? You should go to the last resort. It's the hottest, trendiest place to be these days. I can take you there if you want, kid. It's all the rage. Come on, don't be shy. I don't bite much. <clears throat> A little bumpy, but not all that bad. Come back anytime, kid. So... I found one clam. Did they run over someone? I mean, maybe. <clears throat> I get paid salary. Now take me there. the vaporwavest fucking intro to a song ever. <clears throat> hey Amori, there you are. Where have you been, buddy? While you were gone, everyone got tricked into signing contracts. So we all have jobs now. We're growing up so fast. My job is to point people to the last resort. That's where I work. Cool. There it is. But I gotta say, this job isn't all it's cut out to be. So why don't we get everyone to quit and get the heck out of here? Hero's been traveling a lot for work lately, but I know for sure that Aubrey's working on the fifth floor of the last resort. We should go find her first. <clears throat> we should go find her first. I want this fucking watermelon. Goo man! Hey you. Yeah, you there with the stoic expression. You look like you want some fresh milk. Fresh from Sea Cow Farms. It's the freshest fresh milk and you will surely be refreshed by it for only 500 clams. Yeah, sure. You got rotten milk. It's the freshest. Huh. Hey you. You want to pose with this very unique and handcrafted cardboard cutout? It only costs you a hundred clams. Not without all my friends. Can I interest you in an honest to good goodness, completely organic bottled water? We're having a liquidation sale. This bottled water could be yours for the low, low price of 500 clams. What up, kitsch bitch? Hey, you. Yeah, you. You look like you love danger. I got some good quality dynamite just waiting to be used for the low price of 1,500 clams. A horrible price. Hey, Mary, look who finally decided to show up. Omori, it's good to see you again. 
What is it, Amori? Aren't you happy to see your big sister? Oh, that's just Amori being Amori. You can't blame him for the way he looks. Anyway, as I was just saying, working pays the bills, but it's not very exciting. Me and Amori are gonna go get Aubrey and Hero, and then we're gonna find Basil. Oh yeah, that's what we were gonna do. <laughs> Always happy to help. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? No, don't worry about it, Mary. The boss loves me. We'll be in and out of the last resort real quick, no problem. Okay, if you say so, Kel. Come on, Amori, I can't wait for you to meet the boss. He's awesome. You and your friends feel like new. Ooh, a new joke. What lies at the bottom of the ocean and twitches? A nervous wreck! I love that cityscape back there. <laughs> Man, that is one good joke. What a good freaking joke. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Roger that. <clears throat> hey, you kids here on vacation or are you one of the staff? With all this construction going on, they can at least invest in some uniforms. Ah, it's nice to finally take a break. Are you from the city too? You look like a couple of city kids. The food's gonna be, or the food is good, but the sewage is horrible, am I right? Hey, no splashing in the pool, okay? Nice, Lancelot. Good luck. Ghost party? Okay. Oh, yes, yeah, some delicious fruits. Would you like to eat some? I am Jash of many talents and master of many trades. How can I help you today? My goodness, what impeccable timing. I seem to have found myself in quite the predicament. I have sent letters to a number of acquaintances asking them to attend this elegant feast of mine, but as of this moment, not a single invitee has made an appearance, not one! This is preposterous! A lesser ghost would be enraged! But my finer senses tell me that they may have simply become lost on the way here. You see, when I sent out my invitations, I had forgotten to include directions to the venue. Being a true gentleman and host, I refuse to start this party until all of my guests have arrived. Would you be so kind as to help my guests find their way here? I knew it. I knew it. Six? I've only found like three or four ghosts. That's rough. Please deliver these maps to each of my guests. They will find they will then find their way here on their own, surely. God, why is it getting more cursed the more of this I get? I need W, T, S, and P. I'm going in the hole, I guess.
Okay. Oh. 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 This game is fucking insane. Oh, caution. Pool is haunted. milk is actually too fuck I just wasted money I have a shit ton of money anyway this is a cool sound Nah, are you serious? Not again. Don't worry about it. That won't be a problem. Nose goes. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Who? You got it. You little trouble troublemaker. What are you up to now? playing slots and lost money hell what the fuck fucked up. Finish him. Omori learned shun. Today I accidentally bumped into one of the staff, so she called me a nincompoop and headbutted me across the room. Who knew headbutts could hurt so bad? I sure didn't. Hey you, you there. Can I interest you in an honest-to-goodness completely organic bottled water? I'm not buying bottled water from anyone. I think I booked the wrong bus. This isn't what this place looked like on the advertisement. Amazing luck.
That's insane. Silver gold. Oh shit. Son of a gun, dude. Pretty good. Give me some good luck. Maybe they're in your favor, but I have horrible fucking luck or something. I've lost almost every single time. This is actually insane. Like, even if I had bet on all three, it's like none of them win. Is like real life gambling. One more. If I don't win, I'm leaving. I did win. Good win, shit. I mean, oh, I almost got three watermelon again, dude. Oh my god, this goes on forever. It's melting my ears, dude. got my money back at least some of it Ooh. getting five of those would have been cool can you roll more than one thing at once or no I guess not takes us like one actually sort of good thing and you get a shitload of money. God knows if I'll ever get one of those again though. I thought I was getting that bread for a second dude. If I hit under 3k then I'm leaving. And if I get back up to 5k I am also leaving. It is if you roll all three, Scott. <clears throat> Even if you get four shades, you still lose a little bit. If you roll all three. No, dude. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't particularly want to fight anyone with half of a party anymore. <clears throat> Damn, let's go. I missed my sisters back at the mustard sub. 
Sorry, I can't serve fruit juice to miners. I am new here. The work's whatever, but I love the staff. Silker is always cracking jokes. He's such a funny guy. I hate these goo men. <clears throat> day in, day out, it's all the same. Whatever, it's a job, I guess. At least it would be if I ever got paid. This is the funny guy? <laughs> nah, you serious? Not again. Don't worry about it. That won't be a problem. Humma humma. If I'm counting this right, then humma humma. Dude, here we go. Hey there, good looking? Oh, is he looking in the mirror? Yeah, okay. Isn't this a cool elevator? It smells kind of like perfume and smoke. Oh, hi, Mary. Hello, you two. Let's see now. So if I got this straight, Aubrey's on the fifth floor. Why isn't this working? Oh yeah, I totally forgot. We need a cool key card for this. They took mine away because I kept losing it. I swear they're disappearing on their own though. Let's try looking around the other floors for one. There's got to be a cool key card somewhere. Fuck, where did I go? I went to the basement? I'm Burp Mo, and I wouldn't be anyone but me. Okay. Take it easy. We ain't gonna fight ya. At least not while we're off the clock. I got everyone pizza. <laughs> I swear, the next guy to leave leftover fish in the microwave is gonna hear it from me. are up. Employee of the month. Is that a hero? Our stocks are falling. I mean, rising at an alarming rate. I found rotten milk. We ain't liable if anything goes missing in these lockers. Leave your valuables at home, people.
poetry book. <clears throat> Bald water. What's up, Cass? How's it going? What is that? That looks so familiar. That just that's like a drink on a beach or something, isn't it? Like a nice drink. Oh, what the fuck? How'd I miss this? Punching bag? Has a picture of Kel on it. Wearer starts angry in battle. That's crazy. I'm doing good. I'm really liking this game. It's really good so far. I've been enjoying it thoroughly. <clears throat> clean and a clean and a clean and a clean. The boss told me to paint whatever I want, so I'm painting some flowers. I'm the rock, paper, scissors champion. If you beat me at rock, paper, scissors, I will give you my entire life savings. What will you pick? So this is defeat. You have humbled me, challenger. <clears throat> As promised, you may take my entire life savings. You got three clams. What? Please don't spend it all in one place. That's fucking nothing. Your life has been pointless. Stop. There's a better way. Finally, a safe and effective solution. It just makes sense. It even comes with a matching case. You can hardly call this work. Pick up that phone now. Is that a cool key card? Bro. The boss tried to put me to use, but when I realized I couldn't do anything, he told me to be a bed tester. Hmm, yep, this bed sure feels good. A sticky phone? <clears throat> this is all natural. Simply apply as directed. Check out these before and after photos. That feels great on my abs. Stop using products that don't work. I love my new life. <clears throat> Excuse me. Patrons at this place sure know how to make a mess. Having a job sure is tough. I hope Nose is doing okay without me. Oh, my sweet sons are all so hard at work. You better not be causing them any trouble or else I'll smack you all the way to tomorrow. Yeah, the new Pokemon Snap looks awesome, dude. Clam coin? I like Bitcoin. <clears throat> oh wow, increases clams earned in battle. That's kind of sick. That's not the Kool-Aid man, that's the Life Jam man. Or Life, life Jam guy, excuse me. 
Hey kids, I'm the Life Jam guy. I sell Life Jam. It really works. Would you like to buy some Life Jam? It'll only cost you 250 clams. It's a good deal. It really is. It's normally 300. Life Jam. It really works. Hello? Who is this? Sorry, you have the wrong number. We decided to come here to, on our honeymoon because they offered a free room and luxury resort experience. Luxury my butt. This place is as shoddy as it gets. I can already see the paint coming off the walls. Honestly, I don't mind this place at all. It's not bad at all for the for the for being free. Even if the kitty pool outside is haunted. I got a fedora. What's that about? Mr. Jossum pulls it off. Five defense and five luck. This is objectively better than four leaf clover. And I hate it as much as anyone, but here we are. A lot of big rubber bands getting thrown away. <clears throat> Nose goes. Pssst. I probably should be listening to the other shitty infomercials. Total comfort. Keeps you warm. I can even use both hands. It's right at your fingertips. Contains high density foam. What a great idea. Call an order for only 3,000 clams. <clears throat> now, you can grow a whole collection of fun. Bunnies, bees, bears. I love my new pet. I can take it anywhere. Share while you play. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. If they like it, I love it. What are these logs? Is this one of the ghosties? Mustache ghost. Don't mind me. I'm just a lost floating mustache carrying about his day. You gave a spooky map to the mustache ghost. Whoa, hold on a second. What do we have here? Directions to Top Hat's party? Well, gee, I'd better skedaddle. This party doesn't start until I arrive. Yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> yuck, 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 All right. Got toilet ramen. A locker. A locker. Huh? Is this fucking Pokemon? <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Damn, Kel's getting chomped? Bro! This looks like it's a construction area, maybe. Hit him! What?
He can't keep getting away with this. The other guy can't get sadder, dude. I think I do. I might have to switch him up. What's up, Master Spark? Holy frick, brother. Bro, broham. Do I not have anything else that ups attack? I have rake. Wait, doesn't that do? No, it, it just it just ups attack. That's fine. The boss used to have me work in the security department, but they said I was too soft. I heard they made Burley head of security. They say she's got a stiff upper lip. A smoke stick. I hate those. I'm gonna have to go get Aubrey and come back. I feel like I'm supposed to have Aubrey here, to be completely honest. Feels unintended to be here at this time. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a golden statue of Hero? Hi, little brother. We're seeing a lot of each other lately, huh? Anyways, come sit. It's not like you to turn down a picnic. And look there. You've got to admit, the view is pretty nice. I'm just about finished with our tribute to our employee of the century. Look at me making statues and stuff. Never thought I could actually do it, but the boss always believed in me. Engineering is like a puzzle, and I love puzzles. That's true. Sorry, I forgot what I was doing. Oof. Lord Jossum. Sir Jossum. Professor Jossum. Dr. Jossum. Mr. Jossum. Well, 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 look who we have here. You trying to talk to the big boss, are ya? Sorry to burst your bubble, but I can't let, I can't just let anyone through here willy-nilly. Aw, oh, man, really? Come on, Burly, we've known each other forever. You can't just do us a small favor? Uh, sorry, Kel, it's the boss's orders. Today's a big day, so he doesn't want any disturbances. We got a tofu fundraiser to prepare for tonight. But Burly, it's me, your old friend Kel. Me and you go way back. Think of all our good times together. Hey, quit it. They made me head of security for a reason. They wanted someone tough. Someone who could make the hard decisions. A hard-headed person. I mean, look at my badge. It's so shiny. Hmm. Quick, Kel, think of something fast. Oh, I know. Hey, Burly. Our good friend Amori here is interested in a job. You know the boss would never turn down free work. Hmm, that is true, but please, Burly, please, 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 please. Oh, all right. I'll let you through this time, but only if you get me some bottled water first. I'm parched. 
Hey, you got me some bottled water? Thanks, I owe you one. Come on, boys. I heard they got pizza in the break room. All right, free pizza. Ah, oh, I hope there aren't any pineapples on it. Damn, this game is political. Phew. Wait, this is actually a pointless one. I shouldn't have picked this up. Uh-oh. I need W, T, and S. I feel like I shouldn't pick up anything other than those. I don't really like pineapple in general, to be fair. But I can't really speak for it on pizza. I'm late for my payments again. Mr. Jossum's gonna have my head on a stick. Woe is me. Woe is me. What's up with this big boss man telling everyone to wait? Who does he think he is? Some of us have lives, you know? I like that that guy's name is Jerko. Boss called me up for an important meeting, but he's not available right now. I don't know. Should I wait here or keep working? I hear Jossum has a new bodyguard who's real tough, but there's no way he's going to be a match for touchdown. I'm waiting here in order to con to conduct some important business, and then afterwards I will conduct more important bi businesses. Jossum and I, we have many matters to discuss. Yes, many, many things. That guy's name is Shambu. Aw, oh, jeez. It's just got to be me who has to tell Jossum that another investor is backing out. It's not my fault, all right? But there's no way I'm going to tell him that. Hello? Please hold. Hello? Please hold. Hello? Please hold. Kate's home. I gotta let Kate in. Aubrey. Say hi. How are you? What are you looking at? Oh, yeah. I love ya. 
Aubrey, we're here to break you out. Dang it, Kel, go away. Can't you see I'm busy? Step out of it, Aubrey. This isn't who you are. You know, three people canceled their meetings today. Three people. I'm supposed to reschedule them, but I don't even know how that's going to fit in with all this, all these useless events planned. Not to mention we have a fundraiser tonight. And of all things, the tofu fundraiser. Who in their right mind would, play, would pay clams for tofu? I tried telling the boss so many times, but he just won't listen. This is a complete nightmare. Okay, Aubrey, I'm going to need you to breathe. I am breathing, Kel. I'm breathing just fine. Deep breaths, Aubrey. Deep breaths. <sighs> you are not a secretary. <sighs> Basil is missing and we need to find him. Oh my goodness, that's right. How could I forget? We have to find Basil. Oh, Amore, is that you? You must be here to save me. I'm so happy. Wait, what about me? Amore, you have to get me out of here. We can just leave, Aubrey. The exit's right there. It's not that simple, Kel. We signed contracts, remember? Aubrey, Aubrey, where have you been? I've been trying to get a hold of you for the past 10 seconds. How's that rescheduling going? Sorry, Mr. Drossom, something came up. Hi, Mr. Drossom. Dang it, you again, Kel. I thought we sent you far, far away from here. Didn't I tell you not to leave your post? Well, I came all the way back to personally tell you that I quit, and I'm bringing Aubrey with me. Very funny. My office, Kel. Now. I'll send him in right away. You too, Aubrey. Nice, thank God. Dang it, Kel, you're gonna get me fired. I know, isn't it great? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Mr. Jossom's office is right up this elevator. Bills, bills, bills. I'm in need of fat stacks of cash. I love like all the characters. They're all fun. Yeah, Kel is a big goof man. Hey! A what? Is that true? That's awesome. You are a professional. Stop that. You think Taco Bell sounds good for lunch today? I don't really ever have lunch. I just have breakfast and then dinner. Ah, you're finally here. <clears throat> Hi, Mr. Jossum. <clears throat> All right, kids, let me lay this down for you. As the contract states here, you have agreed to work for me, for better or worse, without pay for the rest of your life. Now, a contract is a promise, and you wouldn't break a promise, would you? Shoot, he's right, we can't break a promise. What, what do we do, Aubrey? Mr. Jossum, it's true that we did make a promise to you, but we also promised each other that we'd find our friend Basil together. Uh, yeah, that's right. That means you have to let us go. 
Hmm, I guess I can respect that. A promise is a promise. Aubrey, I'll let you leave, but you have to take Kel with you. <laughs> really? Wow, thank you, Mr. Jossum. You're too kind. Awesome, let's go. Wait, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, can we bring my brother Hero with us too? <laughs> you really are a funny kid, Kel. Ja ha 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 ha. You want me to give you Hero? That's rich. Rich, I tell you. Hero is fins down the best worker I've ever hired in my life. His very presence increases my work output by 700%. I'd be a fool to let go of a worker like him. Hey, Mr. Jossum, I just finished setting up the tofu fundraiser like you asked. The tables are set, the room's decorated, the toilets are clean, and the food tastes spectacular, if I do say so myself. I also cleaned your windows, mopped your floors, fed your pets, organized your sunglasses collection, and folded your laundry. Oh, uh, and here's your coffee. Just thought you'd enjoy that. You see, kids? Amazing work, hero. Just amazing. I might even consider paying you one of these days. R really? That would be an honor, sir. Oh, hey guys, what are you doing here? Are you looking for a job too, Amori? Hero, what happened to you? Don't tell me that you even forgot about Basil. Or even you forgot about Basil. Oh, shoot, that's right. We need to find Basil. How can I forget something so important? What are we doing here? We gotta go right away. Oh, there, Hero. Not so fast. You've still got some unfinished work to do. You're supposed to usher in all of our VIPs for the fundraiser tonight. Mr. Jawsome, I'm sorry, but with all due respect, the Tofu fundraiser can wait. Hmm, my feelings are hurt, Hero. You haven't forgotten about our contract, have you? Well, I... Forget the contracts. Basil needs us. We have to go, Hero. Don't listen to her, Hero. Why would you? You didn't even sign a contract with her. I don't listen to Aubrey because of a contract. I listen to her because she's my friend. I'm sorry, Mr. Jossum. My friends are more important than a measly piece of paper. Measly? Piece of paper? You disrespect me, boy. I take you in, a youngin' with no experience, and I turn you into the ultimate employee. You would be nothing if it wasn't for me. Oh shit. The punishment for breaking a contract is death. I'll teach you to respect your superiors. Boys, would you be so kind as to show these kids the way out? hits everyone? I did not realize that. He did call in a new gator, yeah.
I wonder if stabbing him is even gonna hurt. It doesn't. It hits everyone else though, that's interesting. Oh. I want these kids gone, do you understand? Oh shit. The gator guy who runs them out gets free pizza on me. Yeah, I'm about to become a gator guy too, <laughs> yeah. Hinchman. I think this is all gonna go into one gator, is what sucks. But he will be dead. It hit him for 1500 fucking damage. I fucked his ass. You let yourself be foiled? yourselves be foiled by a bunch of children? What did I even hire you for? Six thousand clams? Aubrey learned wind-up throw. Kel learned megaphone. Damn, and Hero's only 19 because he died in that one really big fight earlier. That's enough. Stand down, men. We're getting nowhere like this. I gotta admit, you kids are pretty strong, but that doesn't matter now. Hero isn't the only ultimate employee in my workforce. I have but one other. You can come in now, Pluto. No. No, dude. Impossible. Pluto, it's me, Kel. Don't you recognize us? We're your friends. Sorry, Kel. This is nothing personal. It's just business. Let's see how you do against the strength of a former planet. Pluto, show these kids your true power. 
right away, sir. I'm sorry, everyone. This is the end of the road for you. Holy fuck. Bro? We're fucking done for, dude. We're toast. Oh my god. Oh my god. He is an, an immaculate god. Behold! This is my final form. Can you feel the heat? How the fuck am I ever gonna defeat something like this? <laughs> There's no way to run! Look at him! We're in the fucking cosmos! Expanded? This game is fucking awesome! Oh, you know what I gotta do? I gotta hit him with mock and I gotta hit him with annoy as early as possible. That's what I think. He is angry. And now we mock him. We hit him hard. And it lowers his defense a lot, or his attack a lot. Now we hit him with that. He threw the, the moon? What do you mean? We're doing Mondo damage. Where's his butt certificate? That's what I want to know. God damn it, dude. If you don't quit throwing moons at me, I'm going to cry. Hack away is so fucking good. I'll settle for a stab. God damn, that is an insane ability. Ah, I see. You have all gotten stronger. But, so have I. <laughs> what? No! I need mana. Oh, 
He's gonna hit hard too. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna hit him with mock and power hit again. You are gonna like, just normal attack. You are going to. You're gonna cook for Aubrey. This is the sickest boss ever. Oh my god, he took so much damage. It said his attack can't go any lower, but he said it, it said it spiked a minute ago. Oh my god, he put Kel in a submission hold, dude! He's toast! How could we have ever expected such a thing? I'm one point off of Hackaway. Oh, that's so sad. Don't you kill Kel again. Don't you do it. No, dude. I can't believe it. How could he? I defeated the earth. How? How? <laughs> okay. What do you want from me? I don't know if I want to hit him with the dynamite. I think he's got to he's got to die soon, right? Is what I'm thinking. Hold on. Here's what needs to happen. I need the life jam Kel. I need her to then use I need her to use whole pizza, I think. I need her to just really heal the fuck out of everyone. I'm gonna I'm gonna have her use cheese wheel. And then Hero is going to I guess smile at this motherfucker like we could ever lower his attack more. Throw the earth at me again. I dare you. Oh no. Oh no. Don't one hit Kel. Oh, it's going to. He has such bad defense. Oh my god. Oh, we survived. This will do it. It's time. Whippy ass. Mm, well done, children. You have come a long way, but I am not finished yet. Oh my God. 
Kel learned can't catch me. Hero learned captivate. You've all really gotten stronger. I'm so proud of you. But even still, I have a job to do and I plan on finishing it. Brace yourselves, children. This is the definition of power. <laughs> when I flex. I feel my best. <laughs> all right, all right, break it up, break it up. Cool it, Pluto. I'm already losing one ultimate employee today. I don't want to lose two. But sir, I can defeat them. Just give me a little more time. Don't sweat it, Pluto. I ain't risking any more assets today. That was... Just get out of here. You've all been nothing but a pain in my tail anyway. Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's re there's really nothing I can do to get you to stay, huh? It's a pity. You could have reached your true potential here. Mr. Jossum, before we go, I just want to say that even after kidnapping all my friends and tricking us into signing an ambiguous contract, I sometimes still thought of you as a pretty decent guy. <laughs> Hero, this might come as a surprise to you, but I always thought of you as the son I never had. I know you'll do some great things out there. Now get lost already. Can't you see I'm busy? Thanks again, Mr. Jossum. All right, everyone. Now that we're all together again, we can continue our search for Basil. It's been a long journey, but I just know that we'll find him. As long as we don't give up. You're right, Hero. We're almost at the finish line. I can feel it. Wait for us, Basil. We'll find you in no time at all. Now that's the dedication I like to see. Go get him, you crazy kids. Ah, this is a surprise, children. Have you come to do battle with me again? I understand you well. I am still feeling the after effects of our heated battle. It was a memory I will cherish forever. You've all grown incredibly strong, but as with everything, there is still room to improve. Flex for me, Kel. Show me what I have taught you. Yes, sir, Pluto, sir. Hoo-ha! Kel is ready for action. Now who am I punching? <clears throat> no, I am afraid you are mistaken. In this challenge, I won't be testing your power. I will be testing your endurance. Brace yourself, Kel. I won't be holding back. Kel gained 50 heart and lost a tooth. <laughs> Holy shit, Kel has fucking sustain now, dude. This game is incredible. Pull, pool, or billiards. <clears throat> oh, right, before I forget, Omori, take this. Mr. Drossom gave it to me so I could get around last resort faster. Hero gave you a VIP key card. Wow. There. Now all the elevators should run faster. Just a warning, though. Sometimes it gets bumpy. This game has been so fun. I'm going to play this next week, too, because I don't think it's going to end today. It's very long, I think, so. Oh, no. Where did I go? Oh, no. <laughs> This was a mistake. Oh, there's only one place to go. Who are you? How did they even hire you so fast? Hi, I'm Mira. I'm new here.
that fucking Pluto fight was like my favorite thing that I've done in a game in so long. It was incredible. Whenever it fucking zoomed in on his pecs, dude. Holy shit. You know what's crazy is I haven't even looked around the rest of this place. I bumped into mom on the way here and she won't stop nagging me. Wearing shades inside is bad for your eyes, she says. I can't take off these shades just like that. They're like a part of me. Man, mom's visiting again? She must be empty nesting hard. What? Mom's here? I gotta go say hi later. So she's every gator guy's mom? <laughs> later, mom. Have a good day. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. Okay. Someone said enjoy your next 24 hours the other day. And Firefang loves that it sounds threatening, but is a compliment. Or not a compliment, but te technically a nice thing to say. Hey, hero, just finishing up your statue here per boss's orders. Looking pretty good, I might add. That's cool. humans are always striving for bigger and better things. Don't you run back crying when it gets tough. A smoke stick. A coat rack. Have a safe journey, fellas. You kids are growing up so fast. Where the fuck is this taking us? We've got lemonade. Who the fuck are you? Was sent to do handiwork, but management bad. Predicting fall of empire. Where the fuck are we? <laughs>
I feel like I don't want to get all of the wrong letters, right? Didn't someone say that? Sorry. Can you please stop talking about getting hung? It means that you have a big cock. That's what it means. God doesn't know anything. A very expensive and controversial art piece. Well, paying for the VIP experience here was the best decision I ever made. I just came back from an exclusive all-you-can-spend buffet, and I even heard there was going to be a tofu fundraiser tonight. You can count me in. This place is amazing. I'm having the time of my life. Why can't I know the password? Make yourselves at home, kiddos. Any friend of hero is a friend of mine. The atmosphere here is top notch. I bet Reuben makes some good fruit juice. Club sandwich is a level above the rest. Reuben and Hoagie are changing the game. I love that Kel sits on a cardboard box. Me and Hoagie are the owners of this joint. He's the muscle and I'm the muscle. Hey bros, you all enjoying yourselves here at the, at the club sandwich? I know I am. My friends tell me that I'm a good judge of character. Ah, yeah, I can see it now. You there in the striped suit. You know what your problem is, bro? You're just way too nice. I can insult you, insult your friends, and insult your mom, and you still wouldn't lay a finger on me. Isn't that right, bro? So now what, bro? Are you just gonna take that? No, you can't just let me slide, bro. Give me a good punch, bro. Go on, do it, bro. Hey, not you, bro. I'm talking to the bro in the striped suit. What was that, bro? You wouldn't be holding back on me, would you? A bro wouldn't do something like that. Try again. You can do it, bro. Hero gained 20 attack? Holy shit. What the fuck? Bro. Oh, I have my other music. <sighs> Maybe I killed him, but that's fine. Is this supposed to represent Geno's? Somehow? It's, like it's got the jukebox, it's got the hoagie sandwich that he likes, but it's all sandwiches instead of pizza.
sort of flick thingy mode. That'd have to be like a 15 party mode. What? Of course, yeah. Dude, it's pink beard. Damn. <laughs> Is that amazing luck? I guess so. It just seemed like pretty good luck to me. I don't know. Oof. Oof. I would love to get slime boys. You know? What does times 100 mean? Why does it say that? Dude, let's get that bread. <laughs> oh, that makes sense, Scott. You know what I'm talking about, Firefang. The beautiful face. Goodness, is that really you, hero? You got me out of a huge rut when you helped me file all my taxes. I honestly don't know how I could have done that myself. You truly saved my life. Take this gift. I owe it to you. Go forth, hero. Be the accountant you were always meant to be. Automatically makes you smarter. Makes you look smarter. Defense plus five, increased hit rate. Cool. Woohoo! The gang is back! High five, everyone! So, does anyone remember how we ended up here? Is everyone gonna leave him hanging? Oh, you know, I had the strangest dream. There we were. All of us falling down an endless black hole. And then the next thing I know, I'm signing my, my life away through a contract. You know what they say, it sure is strange where life takes you. But what were we doing again? We were looking for basil or something, right? Yeah, that's right, Kel, we were looking for basil. Hmm, do you think Basil could be somewhere in the last resort? No way, Basil wouldn't be caught dead here. Does he seem like the type of person who would enjoy things like this? I don't know, does he? Why don't we just go around and ask anyone if they've seen him? Good thinking, Kel. I guess we are pretty far away from home. I don't think anyone here would know what he looks like. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we all draw a picture of him? Maybe people will be able to recognize him from the drawing. You two are full of good ideas today. That sounds like a plan. Cool, I'll start. Kel's gonna be terrible at it. Terrible. Kel's gonna be awful at it. Aubrey is also gonna be awful at it. Um, and then Hero is gonna just like print basically a portrait. Um, what is that? That looks nothing like Basil. Basil's hair is more like this. Hmm. No, wait, that doesn't look right either. Hey, what are you doing to my masterpiece? And when did Basil have such a big nose? Alrighty, let's see how we're doing. Yeesh, is that really what Basil looks like? Ugh, I can't look. 
<clears throat> Here, I'll put the bad drawing in your pocket. <sighs> well, that didn't go so well. Don't be so down, Aubrey. We can just look for Basil ourselves. Yeah, it'll be okay. There's plenty of places we haven't looked yet. Hmm, why don't we start searching around the deep well? You can get there pretty easily by taxi. There's always one in front of Last Resort. How did I get myself into this dump? It's just one thing after another this week. You finally get on the boss's good side, Kel? You're a load of trouble, but I'll be looking out for you. We we hope you are enjoying yourselves at the last resort. Please let us know if you need anything. Bro, bro told me to wait here, but I don't know if he's coming back anytime soon. You know anyone named Mr. Jawsome? Bro says he's got, he's got business with him. I'm not going to pick up the inn because it's pointless. Got to take a break from the slots. My arms are starting to cramp up real bad. I love watching my hard-earned money go into this machine and never come out. Just watching it all disappear. I'm sick of slots, but there's not much else to do around here. I should just go back to the city. Aw, oh, nuts. I lost again. I just know this machine is rigged. I bet I'd bet my left foot on it. Do you want to learn a fact about sharks and slash or pickles? If you give me a combo meal, I'll tell you what I know. Sure. You got it, buddy. Hey, thanks a lot. Would you like to learn about sharks and or pickles? I'll learn about sharks. Here's what I know. Contrary to popular belief, most sharks don't like to eat people, except tiger sharks. Those guys will eat anything. Great, here's what I know about pickles. Think it's possible that you have scurvy? Then maybe you should have eaten a pickle. Well, that's not really worth it. Hot dogs, get your hot dogs here. You want a hot dog? It'll only cost you a hundred clams. Come on, they're yummy. You got a hot dog. I'm gonna buy a couple of them. I always seem to find myself in precarious situations. I wonder if this counts. I'm aiming for those big wins today. Oh yeah, thinking positive. I traveled all the way here from the city for this. I need a vacation from my vacation. So, I wonder if Aubrey is able to go in the girls' bathroom, like if there's secrets in there. Oh! I'm fucking sick! I got a combo meal. I am the mirror on the wall, and I dub thee the cutest one of them all. You got ramen. that you can go in the girl's bathroom with the girl character. That's such a nice little touch. Most stuff like that that you think like, this should work. It normally does, I feel like, in this game. Oof. Yeah, we'll pick Nick. We'll pick a Nick. So Mary, what do you do when you're waiting for us? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary. I say hello and try to make small talk, small talk with the folks who pass by. That sounds exhausting. I can't small talk at all. Mary, tell us, who's the most interesting person you've come across? Well, let's see. Around this area, I typically see cranky tourists and gator guys. 
The gator guys are a little rough around the edges, but once they open up, they'll share just about anything with you. They're even nicer than most of the tourists. Yeah, I agree. All the gator guys I've met have been really nice to me. They are? They're always treating me like I'm in trouble or something. Let's see, what else? Ah, uh, come to think of it, I do remember a chronically unlucky fellow named Snaily. I used to see him, see him wandering around a lot. But the one time he tried to walk up to greet me, he suddenly fell into a hole. I never saw him again after that. Boring. Next. Nailey is the guy that got struck by lightning, right? In Inside of a cave. We were in a cave and he got struck by fucking lightning. How ridiculous. Sorry, I'm just re-talking to people with Hero now that I have him back. Because <laughs> Hero, um... Just gets hooked up with random good shit whenever he talks to people. That's really funny. What's up, Buttons Boy? I wonder... I feel like you could probably just walk up here, right? Like, without paying for it. Strike a pose. Hoo-ha! I'm gonna get all the girls. Just you wait. Not like that, you won't. You can definitely just walk up to that and not pay to go up there. Kel is great. Ooh, a beach ball. Speaking of Kel, let's see if this is better than Jack. I lose a little bit of attack, but I get so much defense and so much speed and all of my luck back. Yeah, like, I gotta go with Beach Ball. It's way better than Jack. Yeah. I think Mike Kel's fast as fuck right now. I'm pretty sure he has bunny ears. And has had bunny ears for like... Oh no, I guess I just switched him to Rake recently, but... He did have bunny ears for pretty much the entire game. Oh. I might even go back to bunny ears. I don't know. Basically, I, I need to either go back to bunny ears or alternatively get rid of running gun, you know? Megaphone makes all friends angry. That's kind of sick. Attracts attention and reduces all foes hit rate for the next turn. Oh, wow. So he can like, that's kind of a taunt. That's so much though. 50? That's so much. High juice moves are risky. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It seems really good, but... Kind of, kind of specific, I feel. So I think some other people got some new moves I haven't looked at yet, too. I 
damages all foes. Deals more damage the less enemies there are. A swing that doesn't miss. Deals extra damage to happy foes. Hmm. I'm kind of liking her where she's at right now. She's sort of my tank. It deals damage if the foe is great, or is sad, greatly reduce its defense. It deals damage to a foe. Omori and the foe become sad. That's interesting. I don't know. I think Hero got some new stuff. Captivate. I think that's what it is. All all foes target Hero for one turn. That's insane. For 20? Big AoE taunt? I feel like counter is like just so good with Aubrey though. Isn't it literally that? Yeah, like... It's that except every time the foe attacks aubrey attacks back and it's five instead of 20 it's just she's so fucking good i don't know i feel like aubrey being the tank is just objectively the best you really have three friends <laughs> all right all right let's get a move on people Boop, 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 boop. I forgot about this. Underwater highway. Here we are, a completely different place. Holy shit. Oh my god, is that sweetheart? Hey. Isn't that Sweetheart? <laughs> hey, Sweetheart, remember us? We're the kids who almost ruined your wedding. What? You four again? Why do you keep showing up? So, how's married life treating you? Ah, married life is a joke. I ended relations with that pitiful excuse of a captain a long time ago. But your wedding was literally yesterday. Oh no, does that mean you and Space Husband are... Hmm, he's Space Ex-Husband now for all I care. Ah, that poor guy. Alas, my journey has gone full circle. It is more obvious to me now than ever that my perfect suitor does not exist. Don't say that, sweetheart. I'm sure your soulmate is out there somewhere. Oh, my sweet hero. How I've longed for your voice. But no, I must refrain. I've already decided my path. Searching for a suitor is much too old-fashioned for me. But I've decided that I will simply just make one. But what? Make a suitor? Is that even possible? By regular people means no. But a wealthy person such as myself does not abide by such rules. I'm going someplace only filthy rich people like myself can afford. With a family of sea witches that specialize in clients with special demands. Toodaloo, peasants. I'm late for my appointment. So, should we follow her, or what? I feel like every time Sweetheart shows up, something bad happens. Yeah, when it comes to disaster, she's in a league of her own. There's a deep cut, but... He's earned that, I think, yeah. What's up here? Oh my god, what the fuck is that? I have to know. That's an. That's an. Is that a muscle? This is a muscle, isn't it? It is a muscle. It is basically a bicep wormhole, isn't it?
Defeated. God, I love Pluto. Shucker. Is that a new weapon for me? No, there's never anything new for me. Oh, this is definitely a uh, hero weapon. It's food related, right? So he loses his juice and gets some attack. I don't know. He's basically my healer, so I don't, I don't care much about that. <clears throat> Buttons boy, I don't really want to know things like that. I don't really want to be backseated or told anything about the game that I don't know. You're fine. Hmm. Yeah, no worries. This is another thing I'm going to be able to climb up out of, I guess. Oh, wow. It's a joke. You want to hear a joke about construction? I'm still working on it, is what the joke was. What's up, Dash? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Is this a mer bunny? Fish bunny. Wow, it's a little bit more on the nose than I was ready for. holding and what pictures the eggplant guy in her photos <clears throat> she's got like an eggplant stuffed animal <clears throat> yeah it's like a plushie of an eggplant eggplant man Why do I kill all the bunnies? They attack me and they're aggro. Dash talk to sweetheart. Too muscle, dude. Come on. Are these like the metapods of this game or something? <clears throat> Ooh, wow. Yeah, that was the strat. Hard as a character from the video game. At some point, I'm gonna click on one of those and it's gonna be like a billion clams. Is what I think, anyway. Air horn. I'll fight it. 
What the fuck? These just look like shark fins. I guess they are shark fins, yeah. They're living shark fins. Holy shit, it's pissed, dude. Damn, hero slaps now, what the fuck? That thing's dead. Yeah. are you albacore are you here because you didn't want to pay the toll you're the third group i've seen this week going all this way was kind of inconvenient but at least you get to hold on to those sweet sweet clams you don't want to pay that last toll though trust me i didn't even know that this was like that <laughs> music is really good. Hero learned enchant and someone else learned mash. Let's see what those are. Act first. A foe targets hero for one turn and becomes happy. It's like a single target taunt that also gives a status. That's kind of interesting. This seems sort of specific. <clears throat> Mash is probably an Aubrey thing, right? Yeah. If this skill defeats a foe, defeat or recover a hundred percent juice. That's pretty cool. Don't look at me, I'm hideous. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to talk to him as everyone. Try it, mayo milk. I'm killing it, dude. We're gaming out here. <clears throat> ooh, ow, ooh. I didn't even know that the tolls were like unreasonable. How much are the tolls? 
I have to imagine they're like a few thousand. <clears throat> That's about what I would have guessed. <clears throat> I will at some point, yeah. <clears throat> The first one's probably reasonable, and then the second one is less reasonable, and the third one's like... Sorry, it's even more money. <clears throat> the first one is the worst. My throat sounds dry. I need to get more water. I ran out of water. I've been reading like everything, so it might be a little dry. Let me get out of this cave area and I'll, I'll get some water. I just want to get to a picnic. That one was terrible. I found some pretty cool secret stuff in the game so far. I don't think this is super secret, but... Easy to miss, I suppose. Sorry, I just feel like listening to all of them is probably a good idea. Musical claims and training. Please show them your support. Did I do this one? Alright, sorry, I'm just making sure. That one blows. here is a bit warmer than it is in the cave up in the mountains. All natural sea cow farms. Holy shit, there's so much. There's so much stuff. Okay. I'm gonna get water. <clears throat> I'm gonna get water. I'm gonna talk to all these people. I'm gonna go back to the area I was just in and go through that construction zone. I think that actually might be the thing I'm supposed to do first based on how much shit there just is here. 
Um, I was hoping I would get to a picnic first, but that seems like it might not be in the cards. What in the fuck is that? I would prefer not to fight this. I I do kind of want to fight. Um, I do kind of want to fight the other thing that's running around really fast. I'm getting water. You guys can listen to this nice battle music. All this bunny gets warped.
I am back. Oof. Sorry. I had a little snack while I was at it and talked to Kate, got my water, used the bathroom, had a few things to do. But I am back. I really just wanted to fight whatever the fuck this is. Reverse mermaid, dude. Cool. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayo Milk. He's dead. Everybody in my party hits so hard now. I just feel strong, you know? Damn, there's a hidden life jam there. I didn't even see it. Mermaids can never have cocks, even if they are reverse. Cheeseburger. We cleaned through that place pretty quick, huh? <clears throat> you and your friends feel like new. Hey Amori, it looks like we've reached the end of the road, literally. It looks like there's a long bridge up ahead. Whatever you do, don't look down. I can't believe we really made it all the way to the end of the highway. But you did, and you all should all be proud. The bridge at the top of this cliff leads to a place called Deeper Well. Word is that Deeper Well has been around for a long time, but the bridge wasn't there till recently. Who knows what's on the other side? Do you think that's where Basil is? We don't know for sure, but there's only one way to find out. <clears throat> that's right. Uh, 
I love this game. is the end of the highway. Ooh, this is uh, definitely part of it, so I'm gonna grab it. <clears throat> then we need T and W now. Yeah, let's get jump scared. Please avoid my spikes at all cost. Thank you. Huh? Where am I? Oh, crap. Boss, look, I wasn't sleeping. I was just... Oh, you're just a bunch of kids. Bet you just want me to open the gate. Well, I'm going to be real with you. These toll prices are jacked. It's going to cost you 3,000 clams. But I'd find another way around if I were you. Save your money for a cool bike or something. It's very annoying to have to go through here every time, though. Like, this place blows. <clears throat> I'm hitting so hard now. Holy shit. I like that escapes just work. I could pay the tolls, but I'm not going to. I can afford to just run through most of this anyway, so... Love yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me? Yo, yo, yo. Well, if it isn't Hero... I've been looking to repay you since you found and returned my stolen bike. You're a cool guy, hero. Seriously, the coolest. Here's a gift for cool people like you. Jet Setter reached into his hair and gave you cool glasses. Go forth, hero. Be the justice you were always meant to be. So, hero, you've come to say hi to the crew, eh? I see the whole... I see the world a whole lot differently since you taught me how to read. Here's the book you used to teach me with. I've been through it tons of times already, so you can have it back. Skull Crusher reached into his pocket and gave you a poetry book. Education, that's what's irreplaceable, man. What's up, hero? I've been thinking about you every day since you helped me save my family's restaurant. Take this, my guy. It's my family's specialty. You gotta try it. Rick unwrapped his bandana and gave you a whole chicken. Well, I'll be. I didn't expect to see you so soon again, hero. I've only just gotten out of the hospital since you helped me recover from my surgery. I stole this from the hospital, but don't tell nobody. It's for you. City Slicker reached, in, reached into his jacket and gave you milk. What's up, Pele, Pele Rojo? How's it going? I love that Hero has just done like the most generic heroic things for everyone in the world. Bah, must have left my smoke sticks at home again. I keep filling in the holes, but they just keep coming back. Move along, move along. Nothing to see here. New potholes every day. I hope I'm getting paid overtime for this. This highway is longer than I thought it would be, but now it's going to be a walk back to the start, too. Might as well keep going. I love talking to people as hero. And they're just like, thank you. You saved my 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 newborn baby from a burning building. Remember whenever you 
I've been thinking about you ever since you saved that whole orphanage. What the fuck is that? A squizzard? A, squ a squizzard. Of course. Excuse me. <clears throat> ow, ooh, ow. Unlord, how's it going? <sighs> Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh my god. You missed this part of the game too? How could you? Hey there, partner. Around these parts, I'm known as the Sea Cow Farmer, but you can just call me Jim. This farm's been a family business that's been going on for generations, but the upkeep ain't so easy with the land being overrun by squizzards and all. I tell you what, with all these dang squizzards running around, it's a miracle this farm's still standing. If only there were someone who could help me get rid of those darn squizzards. I'd pay anything. Hey, you know what? I just had a brilliant idea. If y'all don't mind getting rid of some slimy, stinky squizzards, I'd happily employ your services for some clams. I know it ain't much, but it's all I got. Can't have no peace around here with all these darn squizzards running around. Yeah, I'll drink some chunky sea cow milk. That sounds great. That apparently heals me. This allegedly heals you. Hero, I reckon I haven't seen you since you saved the farm. I never got to thank you properly for that, and it's been weighing on my mind heavily. Now's my chance to return the favor. Take this, partner. The cow gave you a combo meal somehow. Be the salami you were always meant to be. What? This is like the best bit. This is the best bit. What's up, Zeldarno? It's probably my favorite bit in the game. I love it. A squid ward? He created a squid ward, dude. That squid dead. This game is real dang neat. This one's sad. Too bad. How could he afford to make that squid ward, dude? I don't understand. It's so sad, unload. Oh, 
he just give us all random emotions? That's crazy. Well, you happened to fuck with the wrong one. <laughs> you gave you gave Kel the wrong shit. Omori learned stare. I don't know why I'm looking at equipment. I'm so sorry. I mean, you know what I kind of want to do though is give Hero the thing that makes him get more XP. Yeah. I kind of want to do this temporarily while we're fighting these guys and then switch back. Somebody's going to have to remind me though. Please remind me. Reduces all of a foe's stats. That is insane. It just reduces it. I don't know. Greatly reduces attack is just so good. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can see happy Amori whenever I'm given the happy status. I think I've seen Manic Amori. Maybe I maybe I saw Furious, I don't remember. It's definitely Pluto. Unless you mean normal enemy. Pluto has been easily the best one. I do like Captain Space Boyfriend though. Or whatever his name is at any given time. It's different every five minutes. <clears throat> Hero learned share food. Does it reduce them by a lot or is it a useless amount? I, I, don't, know. I don't know. I just got the ability, bro. <clears throat> All of the soundtrack is good though, but yeah, you're right. Dude, that Pluto fight was so cool. It was so cool. <clears throat> Ow, dude. You guys beat the angry gang of kids at your old secret hideout because I got my ass kicked by that I also got my ass kicked by Aubrey at the church so <clears throat> you didn't want to hurt Pluto he was a fucking god entity though I did as good as I could as good as I could against the kids, but it was hard, dude. <clears throat> really, there's a trick to the fight with the bullies. Are you supposed to just guard? I don't really I don't really know what else it could be. Try to run maybe? I don't know. not a thing that I can utilize in the future then I don't want to I don't 
I don't mind knowing it if it's just like only a spoiler for a thing I've already done. <clears throat> I might have had the item, to be honest. I was pretty thorough going through there. if I want that information in my chat, Mayo. Because it might be a thing I can still find. And like, it's possible that it's just like a thing I already have, but I don't know. I just want to experience the game as organically as possible, you know? Because last time a big cool RPG came out, I didn't get to really do that. Heroes like almost caught up with them already. That book is ridiculous. I fucked the earth up. And um I don't know. I don't know what it did. A dull attack. It was over a hundred. Kel learned rally. Bear is interesting. I think it does. I think we're all dead. But at the same time, Pluto today used Earth to hit us with a couple of times, so I don't know. I think Earth still exists, maybe. Attracts attention and reduces all foes' hit rate for the next turn. Or for the turn. Share food. Hero and a friend recover some heart. That's pretty good. That might be more useful to me than tea time. Tea time has been pretty situational. A foe targets hero for one turn and becomes happy. 
wasn't wasn't I looking at a new Cal ability? Is that what it was? This can't catch me what I just got. Oh, I'm dumb or something. I'm an idiot. Alright, so it looks like we can equip equip we can equip hero with uh, a normal thing again. Sorry, I just kinda wanted to look through and see if there's anything that would give him some more juice. Holy shit, that's insane. Contract, huh? Eat plus, luck plus. I love punching bag. I think cool glasses are what we want here. Speed would be pretty good on him because he is a healer. I don't know. I like him being pretty tanky. That way he can't die. Or, you know, he has a lower chance of dying. Attack and defense. Well, hold on. Those are really good. I need to put those on someone else. I'm going to give him defense and speed. That's what I'll do. And then I'll give Kel the cool glasses. That's really fucking good. And Kel is kind of turning into a really strong character pretty quickly. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the cell phone on Aubrey because the defense is just so good. Tin defense is really really nice. Yeah. Uh, this will be fine. Uh, Moo? I can't believe that the random cow hooked me up like that. Hey y'all, I've noticed lately that there are less, there are less squizzards causing trouble around these parts. You kids are really doing your fair share of work. Here's some clams for your efforts. Go on and get something nice for yourself. <laughs> 4,500 clams? Holy fuck. This is the mermaid diner. No way. To all those lost lovers out there, this one is for you. How sad, dude. Welcome to the mustard sub. May I take your order? Uh huh. Three orders. Uh huh. Uh huh. I don't know. I can ask. Okay, so you want four orders now. Why not? 
I'm gonna get a few tasty sodas because they're like half my juice. That's really good. Everything is sold out. What do you mean? You only get one per thing? That's insane. Hi, I'm Sadie. My sisters and I started this cafe together, but since clams have been tied, a lot of my sisters decided to start working at the last resort. It's just me and my sister Eleanor left. I wish they would come back here. I'd do anything to hear them sing again. Whoops, I did not mean to talk to you as girl. I meant to talk to you as... as boy. No! It looks like Hiro has really long hair. What if Hero got like a discount on stuff? That would have been crazy to learn. <clears throat> the space pirates are entranced by their captain. How sad. Injured? Gay attorney at law? Good attorney? One eight hundred Gator. Hey, hold on a sec. You're a hero, aren't you? You're the boss's favorite man. Sorry, sir. I almost didn't recognize you there. These sunglasses are a shade too dark. You know what I mean? Even if you're the boss's favorite, rules are rules. But maybe I can offer you a fairer rate. How's a thousand clams sound? Man, are you serious? I don't give freebies out to just anyone, you know? That's really cool. Speak of the devil. I guess word didn't come down that I got fired yet. That's good. <sighs> I save. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Oh, a face. One day I'll learn what those faces mean. <clears throat> Where was the fucking bus station at? Or the, the Pluto station? Was it this way? That is sick, right? Hero's fucking awesome. Imagine not just talking to everyone with Hero. Dad. Well, I'll just open up all of these since they're like a K piece. That's not that bad. And like, I'm gonna be backtracking a lot in this fucking game, so. <clears throat> a thousand is not that bad. Oh my fucking God. I was expecting to see some sea life, but I wasn't expecting this. The diving man should be over here, right? Diving man.
Interesting. How the fuck do I get back here? Oh, I'm an idiot. God damn, there's so much. There's so much area. Who the fuck lives here? <laughs> <clears throat> fish boy catching and raising fish is a hobby of mine it passes time and is moderately rewarding Fish boy. Interesting. I'm all out of tuna. Okay. Goddamn wheel. Do you know who the fuck I am? Do you have any idea who the fuck I am? Excuse me? Excuse the fuck out of me? <clears throat> Bitch. So this is the cave I've been all the way through already, I guess. It looks like there's a broken watermelon, so... Gotta imagine that's the one I've already been to. Do you talk? I'm not toxic. Okay, I'm just... Doing a once over real quick, that's all. I love that running from battles just works. I don't know if that's just always or what. Kind of cool though. I mean, unless like, unless it's a thing you can't run away from like a boss fight, then you can run. All right, it's a fat. It's time for a fat jam. Yeah, I paid them as uh, I paid them as hero, so I only had to pay like twenty five hundred total. I think Pyrefly Forest. They're like, oh shit, you're the boss's best man. And they're like, well, I can't let you get through here for free, but I can hook you up. This is the way to the book guy, right? The book guy is this way, unless I'm insane. There's a few things I want to go back to. One of them is this. Waterfall secret? Of course. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Aru?
What a cool little secret. In a cruel twist of fate, I lost my entire family in a day. Curses, if only I was stronger. Ah, Reuben, I'll take one more drink for my sorrows. Coming right up, Max. It is him, dude. I can't believe it. How insane. Don't. I hate fighting bears as much as you may think that I don't because I fought 20 of them in a row. Ending a bloodline. Well, you didn't end the bloodline. The, the, the last one is there, right? What you did do was kill like two old ass men. You did t you did kill two grandpas. So you might want to think about that one. That's This looks like a job for I'm not in the right place. What to read? What to read? I've read every book on the shelf over 20 times already. If only I had something more interesting to read. Whoa, where'd you come from? You gave an interesting book to Demi. Wow, this book sure is interesting. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I must have zoned out for a moment there. Thank you for showing me this interesting book. I'll have to give you something in return. Let's see here. How about this one? Here you go. This book is a collection of some of the saddest poems ever written. Please enjoy it. Deep poetry book. Now, where was I? Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Is that just like start out sad? Deep poetry book? Is it a fucking weapon? What the fuck is it? It was purple, I thought. Is that a fucking skill? No. Oh, it's not under D. Most of this is like alphabetically sorted, but this isn't. Wearer starts sad in battle. That seems really good for Omori. Depending on the scenario, right? That is weird. I wonder why that is. Oh, here we are. Oh, no. 
I'm Omori, so she doesn't care. Really? You called me out here for nothing? I hate that as a person who likes organization. Alright, let's tell Weeping Willow some more jokes. I think we got a couple new ones. I think bicycle joke, ocean joke, and construction joke are all new. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired! That joke was so bad. It just makes me want to... <laughs> yeah. I uh, talked to some people as Hero. They hooked it up. I, I didn't actually win very much money at Jossum's Casino. There's definitely a purpose in doing this. Even if she hates all of the jokes, which she might. What lies at the bottom of the ocean and twitches? A nervous wreck. That joke was so bad. Maybe slightly. I did win a lot at the end. And then I was like, I am done. <clears throat> no, I read the wrong book. I read the wrong joke. I don't know what I'm talking about. My money, my time. It's absolutely possible the saves come to casinos, I bet. Bury me with my money. Want to hear a joke about construction? I'm still working on it. That joke's pretty funny. I feel a little better now. Thanks for cheering me up, travelers. Here is a reward for your valiant efforts. This is an ancient weapon of indescribable power. Only a true hero is able to wield it. Ah, the gods are calling for me. I am afraid it's time to take my leave. Our time together was short, but it has been a mostly pleasurable experience. Perhaps we will meet again in another life. So long, travelers. It's been fun. I knew it. The lol sword? I just got an achievement called XD. Well, I gotta use it, right? Even if I lose some juice, right? Like, we gotta, we gotta experiment with it. <laughs> How insane. Is that, wait. Is it the shape of the word, LOL? Oh my god, it is. Damn, silver gold spoiling me? I'm getting spoiled on a thing that I'm going to find out no matter what because I do have it equipped?
I'm gonna go back down here. That's not that big of a deal, but I would like to be surprised about the the quest that has spanned the the past, you know, 20 hours of gameplay <laughs> reward. I still haven't found Hector. Ghost party. I could I could start working on that. That's a good idea. I bet it, it might make whoever it hits happy or something because they're laughing, you know? That'd be a cool gimmick. Sorry, I'm just looking for secrets. That would be fucked up, fire thing. Well, only hero can wield it, to be fair. Oh yeah, you know what? I forgot about this. Oh my god, I bet they're all fucked. I didn't forget about Basil. It's just been a long time, that's all. It's interesting the way that they dish out, like, buffs in this game, you know? I've never seen the bushes get to where they're dying. It's interesting. It does almost seem random, doesn't it? Look at this. Like I like watered a fucking million of these and I haven't gotten one heart. It is also possible though. Yeah, I'll water the cacti. <clears throat> I love how they just like haven't been fucked at all yet. It's interesting. It's possible that I hit max amount of hearts I can get from water and flowers, but... <clears throat> We'll go to Basil's house real quick. I feel like there's gonna be like some insano secret around here like this. I don't really play RPGs, so I don't know. I've uh, been having a lot of fun with the difficulty level while also being 
as strong as I can be. All right, I have checked every nook and cranny for whatever reason. Oh god. Getting like grim around here. That's crazy. This looks like our hideout area. Damn, dude. I wonder what the fuck that's about. I wonder how many bunnies I've killed. I kind of want to go check. I basically wanted to like double back around and do like a lot of backtracky stuff. Oof. Doing a stuttery boy. I don't think I've actually killed that many bunnies since the last time, but who knows. <clears throat> oh, I can also do a new really cool thing that I need to come back here and do too. Almost forgot about this. At last, I am free. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Take this, it's a gift from me. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I love them. Excuse me. That's wild silver golden. I'm hungry. You're making me hungry just thinking about it. Was this so is this nothing? I have to imagine that we save Basil and Basil can like talk to flowers. That's what my guess is. I don't want to know, obviously. Because Basil would obviously be like a non-combatant part of the team, I feel like. <clears throat> Everything is something in this game, I feel like. Oh, I've killed as many bunnies as that guy wants. I didn't realize. I haven't been here yet, have I? Oh my god. How the fuck have I never been here? How in the fuck have I never come here?
It's gonna take me so long to beat this fucking game because this is I'm just thorough as fuck. You know what I mean? I don't want to miss anything. Yeah, I guess I want to board the train. Fuck, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> Someone remind me to go find the ghost people. Yeehaw. Yo, thank you. Yeehaw. Whoever that was. Here is not where the home is. Where is home? Home is not where here is. Home is not where here is. Where is home? Where is home? Where is home? Here is not home. Home here is not where home is. I think I switched off of the hero charm. <clears throat> yeah, I got him on bunny ears now. Are those fucking eyeballs? Oh my god. I cast, thank you. What'd you get? What you get? What you buy? Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Can I not do that because I'm afraid? I'm gonna make myself sad and then everybody else is gonna dandelion themselves. Uncomfortable, huh? Can he not be made angry? I think I defeated it. Honey, I'm sorry. Ladies and gents, we have arrived at our stop. Welcome to Orange Oasis, where the moon shines brighter. Please exit the train in an orderly fashion. Thank you for your patronage, and please ride with us again. Post. Toast. 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 Isn't the air sweet here? You can smell the sugar. Oba! 
the weather's even hotter than before. Bluki gets down easy, but he just needs someone to listen to sometimes. Or needs someone to listen sometimes. And that someone is me. Everyone here is so different and interesting. I wonder what makes me different and interesting. <clears throat> I was waiting for the train so long, I can't even remember why I wanted to come here. Yeah, I'm pretty fast, but not as fast as a train. It's important to know your limits. That was Cobalt Tech. Big bread. I spy with my little eye a rainbow umbrella thing with lots of legs. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <clears throat> okay. I've never been to this stop before. I can't wait to explore Orange Oasis, land of possibilities. You got Shenmue 1 and 2, Sonic Mania, Underrail, and the Underrail expansion? Or Underrail ex expend Expedition? That's pretty sick, actually. I didn't know it did that, Cass. That's really dope. Ooh, life jam. <clears throat> Under rail sounds really familiar. This place is fucking awesome. This is a Mario ass level. Fucking dessert desert. <clears throat> what the fuck is this? You got a wishbone. A sand sculpture of a peculiar old geezer. What the fuck is he doing here? I feel like you're gonna be able to fight him, is what I think. I am stuck and cannot get down. <clears throat> I'm fine like this. Pancake bunny. Strong. <clears throat> I feel like I was supposed to come here forever ago. Milkshake bunny? The hero starts happy, is that that must be because of the the lol sword. I got the train pass whenever I fought Space Boyfriend. Yeah. I guess I'm just that OP that I didn't even come here. It didn't even matter. I guess some people, a lot of you guys did too. Just skip this. There is a big banana. Is that a ghost man? Beard ghost. Hmm, wait, where was I going again? Dang it, my memory isn't what it used to be. You give a spooky map to beard ghost. <gasps> What's that you've got there? A map to old Top Hat's party? Ooh, it sure is. I'd better get going before all the food gets cold. Here I come, all-you-can-eat buffet. <clears throat> Ooh, 
What do you mean by standard designs? This place is bad for my cavities, but who needs teeth anyway? Orange Oasis is mostly full of senior folks who've been around since who knows how long. But I have my hopes. Oh my god. Is that the wall face man? One day this place could be a flourishing city. There's plenty of land for development. These hollow spaces I mark. In them, I have hidden my most precious belongings. Yes. I smashed my face to remember, but lightly. Any harder and it would break. Smash. Any harder and it would break. packets dude oh man this is exciting i a hundred percent know where like two or three more are nacho cheese might as well it is kind of something of a terrible joke <laughs> oh my god oh my god who is that what is that how do I, how do I get up there? Hold on. I gotta get up there somehow. This is insane. This is just like a whole area. Hey, Omori, guess what? The sand here isn't sand at all. It's brown sugar. Oh, isn't that sweet? It sure is hot out here, though. I remember to stay hydrated, everyone. Twenty hours. You want to have a picnic with your friends? The brown sugar feels good on my feet. I almost want to pick it off and eat it. That's disgusting, Kel. Why would you even think that? You're so weird. We all have weird thoughts sometimes. Cal just doesn't think before he says them out loud. Hey, I consider that a good thing. If you got something to say, then say it. That's just wrong, Cal. You should always think before you speak. Have some self-awareness. Says who? You, Miss Bossy Pants? I have plenty of self-awareness. I know where I am at all times. Yeesh, loosen up, you two. Balance, guys. It's all about balance. Hero, you coward. That's the laziest answer I've ever heard. I expected better from you. Oh man. What'd I say now? <laughs> the pond water is so clear. It's like I can see a whole nother world on the other side. <clears throat> what do you sell? Ah, uh, if it isn't here, my favorite and most handsome dis customer. Discounts for you always. So please buy something. That's like crazy as fuck. I didn't know that the mailbox loved Hero. Who would invent this? You should just main Hero, in my opinion. There's literally no drawback to it. He's incredible. Gallopot's Gastropod. Today's specials. Orange juice, peach soda, and milk. I am the tofu con, con connoisseur. I love all kinds of tofu. Each piece of tofu is unique and deserves to be enjoyed individually. If you trade me tin tofu, I will give you a snack that I have prepared or that I have gathered from my many tofu related journeys. Would you like to trade me tin tofu for a snack? Wonderful. Take this not as delicious food in exchange. Oh, you gave me ramen. I think that's, that's a better, that's like an upgrade. 
Oh, so he'll just like give you ramen for tin tofu. That's, I think that's good though. I think that's a good deal. I'll just buy a little bit of everything, you know what I mean? Small candies not for sale? What do you mean? Holy cow! I like that. <clears throat> my man, hero, how many years has it been since you helped me discover my love for food? You helped me find my dream, and I owe you my life for that. Take this, and don't be shy about it. It's my favorite food, and it's definitely enough to share with everyone. This is my favorite thing in the game. <clears throat> a hamster with a fanny pack is essentially a small kangaroo. What the fuck? Howdy ho, youngins. Y'all mind doing me a favor? I need to just scratch I need you to scratch an itch for me. It's on my bottom, so I can't really get to it. Ugh. It's just absolutely killing me. Okay, I gotta scratch his butt. Keep that in mind. <clears throat> I love these little things they do. <clears throat> Look at that little cactus. What? Look at that little uh, cac cat kiss. This game is cute. You got a treasure map. What the fuck? This game is magic. I wonder if there will be a purpose for this for the magic mirrors. I feel like like everything has a purpose. Legends speak of a pair of twins who guard the orange oasis under their watchful eye. It is said that they have the power to raise the dead, among other things. I don't know if there is much truth about these legends, but wouldn't that be interesting? Do you think that they raised the bread instead? It's the twins from the bakery? Captain Spaceboy and some of the pirates went off somewhere with great urgency, but me and my dude here decided to look for Captain Spaceboy's lost planet, Pluto. Hmm, where could he be? Pluto, come out, come out, wherever you are. <coughs> Excuse me. Breadfruit juice? It's another one of these. Loosen up a little, breathe easy. It's time to cool those brain muscles with some tunes. Take a load off, unwind. Welcome to Chillville. This atmosphere here is top notch. I bet Ruben makes some good fruit juice.
It's the happy cactus. Greetings. Thank you for talking to me. What do you mean? I love him. What is this? <laughs> like what? What is this? Who are you? Come back here! That's right, bitch. No! <laughs> How do you talk to this thing? <clears throat> you, have, you have a worried look in your eyes. I can tell a problem greatly ails you. Let me tell you something, child. When you know that an arduous and difficult future lies ahead, all you need is hope. Be hopeful of yourself and be, be hopeful of the future. Yes, anything is possible if you believe. And if all else fails, know that at least I will believe in you. All right? Excellent. Please accept this teaching as a gift. Hero learned spicy food? Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be off. <laughs> I... I love this game. He's totally fine. He's worried about you. You know, I think that's, that's beautiful, kind of. Damages a foe and makes them angry, dude. Spicy food doesn't do that to me. Well, it may damage me. I don't think it makes me angry, though. That's pretty cool. It is a piano. I understand that it's a piano. It's, it's obviously a fucking piano. fuck I'm supposed to play on this because you know it's something you know it's you know it's something <clears throat> you know that there's a thing I'm supposed to play on that <clears throat> no I don't want anything I want nothing <laughs> please don't give me a hint That's what I want to play, is that. I wonder if I can play that. I think if you play that, it should heal you, at the very least. play that on here.
Hmm. <clears throat> I wonder if it's the menu theme that you have to play. I don't remember that off the top of my head, though. Hmm. I'll come back to this. I have no idea right now. I know it's something, though. Because it's not a thing I can just guess off the top of my head. Wow, it's a big apple. I have seen the bunnies here. I love them, yeah. Milkshake and um, pancake or whatever. Flapjack, whatever they call it. <clears throat> Hey there, little adventurers. Welcome to Dino's Dig. I'm Dino, the founder of Dino's Dig. <clears throat> Are you hungry for treasure? Are you ready to have a spoonful of adventure? If so, you've come to the right place. Here at Dino's Dig, we have created the ultimate treasure hunting adventure, which you can experience for the low price of 100 clams. Dino-tastic. I'll go in there in a minute. Don't make me go in there now. Thank you. You want to buy a silver spoon for 20 or that can do 20 digs for 10 dino dollars? Sorry, dude, you don't have enough dino dollars for that. <clears throat> oh, nuts. I'm one dino dollar shy from a silver spoon. Scratch Scott's bottom. Ah, much better. I give him butt scratches, dude. The food pyramid has a knack for finding lost things, ancient artifacts, old relics lost in time. The possibilities are endless. Was that Kate? Kate voice acted for this game, dude? <clears throat> the last time I tried Dino's Dig, I found lots of amazing treasure. But this time I tried Dino's Dig, I just found some granola bars. The treasures on display here are from all over the world. I want to travel around the world someday. I wonder how many dino bucks I'm going to get. All right, kiddos, first things first. Here at Dino's Dig, we dig with spoons. Since you don't have a spoon, I'll give you a potato spoon for free. You got a potato spoon. <clears throat> Choose which spoon you'd like to use. There you go, right on, brother. You're a quick learner, aren't you? In our special dig site, the Food Pyramid, you'll be able to uncover super rad treasure from all over the universe. And the best part is, you get to keep anything you find. That's a dino guarantee. Let me tell you about our dig site. The food pyramid has four levels. You'll always start on the first level, but if you're lucky, you might just find a pyramid key that unlocks the pyramid gate to the next level. The higher you go, the better treasure will be. The better the treasure will be. Now here's the catch. Each spoon has a limited amount of uses before it breaks. For example, potato spoons will break after you dig five times. If your spoon breaks, the treasure hunt ends. The pyramid gates close, and we will call you back to the entrance. 
You understand everything I've said so far? Dino-tastic. And now, it's time for our Dino Disclaimer. Treasure isn't the only thing you'll find in the food pyramid. During your round, you might find some troublesome creatures. Er, cre I almost said creatures. Critters looking for a fight. We aren't liable for any damages to your property during your adventure, you dig? If a critter knocks you out during battle, it'll be a real game over. Well, that's pretty much it. All that's left for you to do is go up these stairs, smell the sweet food pyramid air, and start digging. Have a dinotastic adventure. <clears throat> I got a dino dollar, dude. Ooh, woo -woo. Holy fucking shit. Did that snake just hit me for 140 goddamn two? fighting two of those. I got a donut. down that's game over hmm. <clears throat> I'm glad I didn't come here earlier these enemies would have beat the fuck out of me Can you find spoons or something? You must be able to. Because otherwise, how the fuck? I found Hector- What the fuck? Excuse me? Oh. <laughs> what? Ah, <laughs> oh, Kel, my old friend. I am so sorry. I am afraid things have changed, and I can no longer accompany you. You see, I have a family now. Wait, Hector Jr., what are you doing? Are you saying that you want to join them? That there's more to life than just staying here? Oh, Hector Jr., I, I understand you well. Even this old stone knew how to have a fun once. May you all have memorable adventures together. Go on and join him, Hector Jr. Into his pocket. You got Hector Jr. Yeah, just like that. I guess this is farewell then. Thank you for never giving up on finding me, Kel. Hector Jr., you be good, okay? Don't forget your family. We're always here for you. I hope that the next time we meet, you'll have flourished into a wonderful polished rock. Don't worry, Hector. I'll take good care of Hector Jr. I know you will, Kel. Just don't lose him this time, alright? I won't, I promise. I... This game is incredible. Heather and Hector and Heather Jr. and Hector Jr. If you... froze time while I was in the animation of digging that up... And you were like, what do you think this is going to be? I think Hector would have been one of the last things I ever said in my entire life. Oh my god, I tried to escape but couldn't.
The VOD should still work, Firefang. What the fuck? That was a, that was so emotionally powerful. <clears throat> Somebody sent me how to play the title theme. So there's no way. <laughs> so there's there's literally no way because it has a chord in it. I guess I could like try to do it without the chord. <clears throat> I can't fucking believe this game. You gave up on the piano. I'm not going to give up. I know it's got to be like something significant, right? There's no way you just play a random fucking song. Like there's literally no way that that's what the answer is, right? <clears throat> I've already done this, right? I already did this. Making sure. Yeah, I've done this. Here, take this. We may we actually have too many of these things. I'll sure I'm sure it'll come in handy one way or another. You got a hard hat. Stay safe, kids. I really can't thank you enough. What if it's like insane defense? Like more than cell phone. <clears throat> that would be hard to believe, but yeah, it's only six. The cell phone is ten defense. That means like what am I gonna do? Get something better than that? Somebody literally told me that the, the piano puzzle exists. Someone literally went out of their way to tell me that it exists. So <clears throat> you could have maybe convinced me of that, but it is a Nokia. Yeah, it's it's very clearly a drawing of a Nokia. <clears throat> Everything makes sense now. What do you mean? Oh, the Nokia thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's all, it's all very clear when you think about it. Very simple. <clears throat> I'm gonna buy a bunch of tasty sodas because they're just so fucking good. I don't know. I think Pluto's at least a little bit of a piece of shit for beating up his friends for his employer. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Gotta disagree with you, unfortunately. Mm, fuck this stuff. I know. Oh, you know what? I gotta recycle a bunch of shit. Can't wait. Can't wait. <clears throat> the Pluto fight is glorious. That is for sure. <clears throat>
I feel like it's got to give me some crazy shit if I recycle enough stuff, right? This is the Mario Maker level select. <clears throat> hmm. Sorry, I just figured I'd poke my head in, right? You never know. Some places appear to change after a long time, so it's worth it generally to, to check back. That's entirely possible. And um if that happens, then I, I'm here for it. That would be sick. Claiming. <clears throat> the world does feel like it's just the right size. It doesn't feel like I have to backtrack like I mean I do have to backtrack. It doesn't feel like backtracking is that big of a deal. You know what I mean? It's not that bad to backtrack a little. <clears throat> what was in here? Oh, this is the disco room, right? Oh, fuck! This is why you always go back, even if you think you remember it. Hi, Ims. Are you doing well? I'm doing okay. Hoagie sent me to the couch for the timeout. Huh? You're in timeout? What'd you do? Nothing. I just tried eating the tables over there. What? You tried eating the tables? You can do that? Oh, I see. The tables are made out of bread. think that really bothers me. I don't think I've been bothered by that very frequently. Silver gold. <clears throat> don't tell anyone I said this, but it's tough being a space pirate. That's so crazy. There's a lot of like back trackies to do. Oh my god. Spooky thing. I beat the shit out of that thing. Holy fuck. <clears throat> Red Ribbon. This feels like an Aubrey thing. Defense plus five and attack increases with more energy. Her defense is so high. I, I don't know. I, I feel like we do so much damage right now. I just wanted to keep her. I want to keep her tanky. You know? I want to keep her good and tanky. What's this, a map? Oh my, it even has Top Hat Seal. Now I'll, I'll be able to get to the party. Thank you, children. I must go now. I'm already behind schedule as it is. Hmm. 
What is that? Why is that sticky? Oh. Is that pee? Is it supposed to be pee? It's yellow snow? When I step in it, it goes... I don't know. Seems like pee to me. How do I open this? What's up, lotion eater? I will now try to open it as everyone. <clears throat> what I will do is remember that this exists. I can go in the water in here. Okay. Just waiting for the next big catch. <clears throat> I wish I could get in there. Okay. No. Is this where it is? Is this where the junkyard is? Cool, it is. Alright, I'm just trying to make sure. That's all. Clam. The one time I'm invited to a party and I don't know where it is. Oh, I don't believe it. Is this a map to Top Hat's party? You're a real lifesaver, you know that? I'd better hurry. It sounds like it's going to be a blast. <clears throat> I wish I could teleport out. thinking we found what four ghosts so far and I feel like I know where at least one more is this ghost quest is fucking hard honestly actually there might be two in the place I'm thinking of Oh 
Oh my goodness, Hero, I'm so happy to finally meet you again. You've done an immense service for my species by saving it from the brink of extinction. Please accept this gift as a thanks. I knew it. I, I knew that I when I came here, I had actually not talked to all the things as Hero because I didn't know about that. That's really good, actually. Not bad at all. Speed is really good though, but that good juice, dude. Come on. I almost I have half a mind to give him the teapot again. The lol sword is is cute, but losing eight attack is pretty stout. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm gonna talk to everybody real quick. Trying to think of where I want to go next. It does work really well. It's sick. I'm a fan. Is there, like, even an easier way to get to the fucking castle? Oh my god. I love Sweetheart so much so that I have acquired tickets to the most prestigious Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts event. Although I was unable to obtain an ultra rare impossible to obtain front row ticket. My reputable salesman has assured me that my ticket will still seat me in a prime location. He's also assured me that the event will start very soon, but I've been waiting here in line for many, many hours. Huh, I wonder if we should tell him. I am sure that at any moment the event will begin and I will be guided to my seat by none other than Sweetheart herself. Now, as I am the truest Sweetheart fan, I could not even think of coming to the event without my most precious thing. Take a look at my beautiful... What's this? It's... missing? No, no, my most precious thing? I will not be able to attend my dream event without it. You four, since you are undoubtedly lesser Sweetheart fans, I must ask you to find my precious thing and return it to me. You'll know it when you see it. Oh ho ho, heck heck. <laughs> What's up, Pork? How's it going, man? <clears throat> we have to find her most precious thing. Is it in her house, I have to imagine? <clears throat> the video game is big. It is a big game. Oh, that's a, that's a smuggler, Jash. Thanks, smuggler, Jash. 
Oh, fuck. Le gasp. C could it be? Ah, finally, some company. Yo, hey, yo, 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 yo. <laughs> I've been alone for so long, but after what feels like an eternity at last, I have an audience. <clears throat> yo, 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 yo. Who am I, you may ask? Why, I am the great up-and-coming artist, Rococo. This guy's kind of weird. Let's get out of here. Wait, don't go. Please listen to my story. Excuse us? Please listen, I'm so lonely. Ahem, <clears throat> right. Now where should I start? In the beginning was me, crying in a pod in the middle of space, witnessing my home planet blow up right before my eyes. I can still remember it all so vividly. Fire. Fire. Everywhere. And then darkness. When I awoke, I found myself in the middle of a desert, surrounded by a sea of brown sugar, in a strange land I soon learned to be called Orange Oasis. Even as a baby, I knew I was the sole survivor of my species, the last elf in the entire universe. This is how it ends, I thought. Yet, in a stroke of luck, I was found by none other than a young donut by the name of Sweetheart. She brought me to her family, and they took me in as one of their own. Sweetheart and I, we grew up together. It was a rough childhood. We fought frequently, but she would always win. If I fought back, well... Anyway, I learned to run, and I got quite good at running, but there's only so far you can run. Yes, it was a hard time, but even though, even through that suffering, I, it stood firm, because even then, I knew everything had a purpose. I was sent to this planet and survived for one reason, and one reason only, to repopulate my entire species. There is a conspicuous gap in my memory after this, so I'll fast forward a few years. At some point, Sweetheart and I fell deeply in love, became engaged, and moved to this giant castle together. We were inseparable, her and I, and we loved each other dearly. I would do anything for her, and I mean anything. I was ready to spend the rest of our lives together, to grow old, and to raise hundreds upon hundreds of children. Hmm, thinking about it now, I wonder if I ever made that clear to her. <laughs> anyway, continuing my story. Alas, all good times must come to an end, and as Sweetheart's fanbase grew, she and I grew apart as well. She began receiving gifts and letters, and from suitors from all over the universe, asking for a chance to prove their love to her. Being her one true love, I was vehemently against this notion, but she wouldn't have it. Sweetheart's, sweetheart is for sharing, she would say. So, one night while I was asleep, Sweetheart and her servants tied me up and sealed me inside the walls of her castle. I have been wandering aimlessly through the darkness inside the walls ever since, surviving off old toast and tofu. Fast forward a few more years, and that brings us to now. Yes, you four are the first living beings I have seen since that fateful day. Wow, sir, that's a really, um, shocking story. Oh, sweetheart, why did you do it? Was I not good enough for you? Well, sorry about everything. We're going to go now. Wait, I'm not finished yet. <sighs> for the last few years, I've had a long time to think. I kind of gave up on my dreams and all that stuff now. It all seems so far away and pointless. So, I've decided to drop everything and become an artist instead. And since I'm just starting out, I suppose I can give you all a discount. For my first ever masterpiece, I will only charge you a thousand clams. Well, what do you guys think? A thousand clams is kind of steep, isn't it? Please commission me! We will think about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, take your time. I'm about 20 hours in, yeah. 
I will stand right here until then. 22, I think, actually. Don't keep me waiting. I'll give him a thousand clams. Please return after some more adventuring. After all, greatness takes time. I won't disappoint you. Somebody remind me to do that at some point. I don't know. I don't know when. I thought I was going to have to fight him. Yeah, I love it, kid with a hat. I'm a big fan. You got juked, bitch. I think I've been here. This is how I learned. No, I'm wrong. I'm going to check this balcony one more time. minutes that's not bad I'll search the castle I I have a question I know that there's I know that the, the ghost with the crown is here do you know where oh no oh I don't want to fight you at all natural one yeah you suck balls I'm leaving I was asking um is there another ghost here other than the crown ghost so I believe I'm missing two of them, and I want to say that one of them at least is here. I know that one of them is this way. It's insane that I'm still getting attacked by these idiots. But yeah, Crown Ghost is here. Which I did remember. Damn, I didn't remember this. I'll be honest with you. There might have been a ghost in the forest. But even that, I, I can't really be certain of. I am going to check, like, most of the rooms, though. Like, I feel like there might have been one here. Well, there were two in the last area. I feel like I remember the other ghost being in another, like, in a chair somewhere. Fuck you. That song's sick.
That's sort of a ghost. I could maybe try to save the not pink people. Oof. I'm going to check basically everywhere. Nice nat 20. It, uh, it mattered. I don't know what you're talking about, but I can tell you that that's not how you ask me if I've found or done a thing in the video game. Because if that's not a thing I've done, then I know it exists. I know you're trying not to, but that's not how you do it. <laughs> so there's nothing there, as far as I can tell. Oh, you know what? You know what I did find was the, like, dungeon room? And it seemed like I had to put a weapon there. Like, there was a missing weapon, is what it seemed like. So I must not have a weapon to put there. I wonder... I wonder. I really want to figure that out. It's like there's a weapon somewhere I'm supposed to grab and put there. So there's an axe, a sword, a broadsword, and a bow. I have to imagine it's something that's none of those. <clears throat> sword is none of those but maybe because it's equipped I could go back and try it again I don't I don't think that if it was the lol sword that you would have just told me but you also might not fucking know This room is so hard to find, and then it's like, you get here and it's like, oh, you need a special thing. And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do? That's how I feel. Oh. Can we ban Undercover Duck if he's trying to spoil me or something? One of the skeletons has a bow on it. Oh, you mean, yeah, you mean like, like a hair bow. I thought you meant like a weapon bow. Like there was, one of them was holding a weapon bow. 
I was like, that sounds like an awful lot like the answer to whatever puzzle I'm doing. Alright, some people just don't understand spoilers, so I always assume that everyone is that. Oh, wait, can I talk to you? Ah, uh, great hero, you have returned once again. I have not seen you since you defeated the reincarnation of the Demon King not so long ago. I have a reward I was saving for you. Reach into my left eye and you shall receive it. Didn't I all... I swear I already talked to him. He gave me two different things for talking to him twice. So this is a different guy. So there was this one and then the other one was also a thing you could talk to, I guess. I wonder if the sword can be found down here. There's none of that. This game is amazing. I'm really liking it. I just want to find this fucking bow, dude. Or not bow, this weapon. Whatever it is. Could be a bow, I guess. I feel like I'm so fucking thorough. But maybe I'm actually not that thorough after all. This feels like a really easy thing to miss. I really want to fucking figure this out. What the fuck is this? I don't remember. Oh, I do remember. I don't know, man. no way it would be here, right? <clears throat> I think I've already done it here. funny kid with a hat. It's good, man. It's good. I get it. scenario where I might cave on certain puzzles that I know exist. Like I want to I really want to know that secret dungeon room one. Like that seems really cool. God damn it. sure I've eaten this cake, but I'll do it just in case. Oh, 
I hope I find a cake somewhere that leads me back to this castle. Like a secret room in the castle. I've already found the watermelons there. I don't know, I'm like keeping an eye out specifically for like unweaponry or like anything like that. Bro! <clears throat> we found a lot of shit though. It's been a very successful backtracking day. I still need to go hit the wall face in the ocean and the wall face in the forest, the, the cursed forest. I missed this watermelon tomato. <laughs> okay. Have you seen the spooky shit down here, duck? No, not the not the fucking not the horse. Have you seen this? Oh man, it's gone now. The eyeball thing was up was out there. What if Amori could cut these? He can't. Yeah, you can interact with that, and when you do it earlier on, the uh, eyeball monster thing that I think represents maybe Mary and maybe Basil, not sure which. Um, don't want to know. <laughs> it isn't apparent yet. Um, that thing that shows up everywhere. Um, that thing is there for some reason. Yeah, I feel like I've pretty much been all through here. Where does this lead? I don't even remember. Oh, it leads back here. Fuck me, how did I forget this? So I need to... I'm gonna save real quick, because we've made a lot of backtracking... ...little finds and stuff. Hello. Let's see, I want to find the way back up to the top, I think. I'm trying to think of how that works. There was like a trap door that leads down. It's been here every day for the past two days. Well, this is the third day. I'm going to probably stick it in the middle of the week again next week for three days straight. That way I have some time to think about it and like I also don't get too burned out on it and also I don't know how well how much people like watching this you know obviously people are he that are here like watching it but I don't want to overload everybody on one type of thing god damn it this fucking laggy ass game <laughs>
RPG Maker really do be stuttery as fuck in this area. How? Isn't it like... Somebody said it was tens of hours long. Is how it was described to me. Oh, you know what? Where... Where the fuck is that artist at? Is he in the courtyard? You missed the whole zone though, right? Like you missed the desert area and stuff, so. So I could maybe beat it in the next stream. Or maybe the one after that. Is this where it was? Oh yeah, this is where I am. You were level 24 when you beat the game? Holy shit. I'm stout. I'm over here looking good. Has it not been 15 minutes? I'll look through the rest of the mole area real quick. They have a... What did you want? That guy Pessy dropped something valuable, right? Something precious, perhaps? I might be able to help you with that. Hmm, this guy seems awfully shady. What's the catch, shady mole? <clears throat> As you may already know, we sprout moles are very highly intelligent and high-functioning creatures. The smartest of us all, the mayor, is creating a device that will help sprout moles do their work at a much higher capacity than what was previously possible. A fabled device of legend that, when complete, will entirely revolutionize the modern world. He calls it the BED, the B-E-D. What do you want that for? Hey, no questions. Get me a B-E-D first and then we'll talk. A B-E-D, huh? Sounds simple enough. Wait, Cal, I don't know. He seems awfully untrustworthy. Maybe we should just give him a B-E-D and see what happens. If you think so, hero, but something about him really rubs me the wrong way. Where the fuck can I even get one of those? There must be like a, a quest specifically here. The Tofu Man. Okay, I remember that now. Just in case. Maybe. Why are you here? I'm angry. Go away. Something that could wake him up? Like a fucking air horn? Something that could wake him up? I don't- I don't think it works like that. I'm 
Am I supposed to throw something from this ladder at this fucking thing? Can Aubrey just hit him? What does that mean? Something that would wake him up. What would wake what would wake someone up? I haven't sold my 11 pearls. I should probably do that. <laughs> completely agree silver golden I have exactly 19k fuck, I don't know what the fuck it would be though I don't know what wakes people up I feel like I have like one of everything I just can't think of what the fuck could possibly wake a motherfucker up in this game. I don't know. Is it possible that it's like a skill that I could equip? Megaphone, maybe? There's no way, right? If you guys know what it is, will you tell me if it's megaphone or not? Just a yes or no question will do. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to have to go all the way back there. Come all the way back here for like the single chance that it might be that. Okay, it's not that good. Oh, you looked it up? I see. And I guess I have one more question about it. If it's in my inventory, it'll just be like, use this? Like, it'll just be obvious if I have it. What's up, Majestic Sammy?
That's interesting, silver gold. I don't think I do want to know. I, I don't want to know, I mean. <sighs> hmm. So all of those walls are like jam packets, as far as I can tell. But I will go to the last one also. I can't fucking believe I found Hector, dude. That is so insane. I have one more question. Is the song that I play on the piano the title screen song? Nope. Okay. Hmm. That's fair. And somewhat expected. God damn, the flowers are dying at an unprecedented rate. I just fucking watered them, didn't I? Jesus Christ. I see. I have one more question. I don't need to, like... Well, there's no way it would be that. I literally just watered these. I swear to God I did. I'm glad that I checked. Even one of the cactuses, dude? Even one of the cacti? It doesn't strike you as a horror game? Well, you have been watching about three minutes of it, so I think that does make you an expert. Yeah, no, what? Horror game? This is just a happy, fun, cute game. Nothing bad. Nothing bad happening here. I can't believe the flowers fucking died that fast again. It's kind of nice. I got some, some HPs. About to hit the fat 200 mark. It's cool. <sighs> I just want to save Basil already, you know? I'm going to get back in here. Did you guys look up the the sword wall thing? I want to know that is some kind of secret that requires you to get something to put on that weapon wall, right? Like you find whatever weapons missing. Like that's definitely it, right? You have no idea? Wow. If anybody knows, I will accept the yes or no information. <laughs> you found the room but never noticed the weapon missing? I noticed it because I was like, this was so secret 
And there was like nothing in it. Really? So maybe it's like... Maybe it's just supposed to have an implication. You know what I mean? A lot of that stuff like in Dark Souls, it's it may seem like like a secret, but it's like a lore implication of some sort. But it's also possible that it hasn't been documented yet. Because it is pretty obscure, right? Ooh, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah. You found my stream on the Twitch spawn Discord server? That's wild. I'm going to probably do that again one day soon. I stayed up like all night, three or four nights, setting up a Twitch spawn thing. It was really cool. Oh wow, this is a lot. This is a secret find on top of a secret find. And it was just jam packets. It's just always jam packets. I don't get it. We'll cross the bridge. I don't think I've encountered anything that happens with floating mirrors. Yeah, I mean, if I'm not going to get to come back to this world, then it would be ideal to know that. <laughs> Hey, I have a serious question. Do any of you remember what Basil looks like? Why do you ask that, Hero? Let's see here. Basil. Basil loves taking care of flowers and taking photos of his friends. He's warm, calm, and gentle. And even when he's upset, he'll always manage a smile. The rest is starting to get a little fuzzy. It's okay. Me too, Hero. It's like I still miss him, but it's kind of hard to remember why. But that doesn't change anything, right? Even if our memories aren't as strong as they used to be, we still have to save him. Basil's our friend, and more importantly, he needs our help. You're right, Aubrey. I think we've all been apart from Basil for way too long. But I'm sure we'll find him, as long as we have Amori to keep us on track. All this time, Basil's been waiting for us. He could be lost, lonely, or scared. I bet he could use a big hug right now. And then we're all, then we're all together, when we're all together again. We should all give him a big ol' hug. Aw, it's nice to see you two getting along so well for a change. I could hug the both of you right now. Huh? Me and Kel? Get along? What are you talking about, hero? Stop being weird. <laughs> Relax, you two. I'm just playing around. Hold on, Basil. We're almost there. We'll all be together soon. There's an area you can't come back to once you enter that has quite a bit of content. That'd be cool. I feel like... Yeah, I feel like... I want 100% it, but... Maybe... I mean, like, 100% it. It's, like, kind of irrelevant, I guess, but... I don't want to, like, miss anything crazy, you know what I mean? You guys talking about a point of no return and shit makes me not want to go here. <laughs> you guys got me paranoid and shit now. What the fuck is this? Okay, so that's that. If that's there, then what the fuck is this cave right here? Have I not been here? Oh, this is the face. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Bear with me. 
It's been a long day, you know? What the fuck is this way? This is the end of the highway. Bro. Okay. Thanks. I might. I've been on for seven hours. I feel like what I normally like to do is stop whenever I get to the real world. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm even close to it right now. So now that I'm aware that there is a point of no return. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff I like to know, to be honest. Is there like a spooky mirror thing that can happen, I guess? It's never happened to me. I look at every mirror. <clears throat> Have I not been this way? Bro, what the fuck? What am I doing? That muscle hits so hard. How does that muscle have so much defense right now? That's what we need. I don't know why this muscle was so strong. All right, Majestic Sammy, have a good one, dude. I don't know if I'll still be here, but I hope you have a good night. Either way. Seven. I thought that there would at least be something there. Inner tube. You got ramen. What the fuck is this place? Inner tube, huh? Make swimming easier, yet harder. <laughs> Defense increases with more energy. Ooh. Oh my god, I missed this fucking melon. this thing's ass, I guess.
I wonder where the last fucking ghost is, dude. <clears throat> Holy shit, are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. They're fucked. Hmm. Aubrey learned beat down. That seems like it could be good. It's certainly gonna be worth checking out. Attacks a foe three times. Seems pretty good. I'm gonna try that. Team Spirit is pretty good, but I feel like type advantage is not super good. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Probably am. Okay. Feel like I've been pretty thorough through here. Fuck is Mary at? Listener, BED, Pessy's thing, care package, and ghost party. Oh, brother mole in the sprout mole colony. Where the fuck is the sprout mole colony? I don't remember who that is. Who's Candley? Anybody remember? The Sprout Mole Colony is the cattail field. about oh yeah candley is in pirate firefly forest you're right i remember them now i am familiar with them oh okay okay i should be able to make do then god i love this fucking song Thank you. I, it's been uh, it's been a while. I knew that I had found the teddy bear, but then forgot to turn it back. It's so hard to keep up with the 18 million quests I have. I'm pretty sure that she's going to be on the right side of the screen. I don't think she's in there, though. That place is fucked. None of that.
That's my teddy bear. I'm so happy to have you back, Teddy. Thank you for returning him to me. Here's a small gift for you. It's not much, but I hope you like it. You got a rubber duck. Come on, Teddy, what should we play first? Oh, I know. Would you like a cup of tea? I wonder what rubber duck even fucking is. Gotta be a charm, right? A cute rubber duck doesn't like you very much. It's seven defense. Not terrible. Not great, though, once we have the big tin defense cell phone from all the recycling we did. So the cattail forest on Otherworld. I need a W and a T. And I just want to, I want to look at where those are real quick. So the T is in a large bubbly tank, which is probably in the next zone. And a W is in the gut of a whale, which I have to imagine is also in the next zone. I know not to let the entire hangman get made. I'm gonna, I guess, ignore some stuff that I can pick up, which blows. But I could always go back for it after if there's nothing, like, stopping me. So now we want to go to Otherworld. has to say about her butt certificate. I didn't know if she would like want to take it, take it back or something. This, I, I guess I'm not actually certain of this, but there's got to be something about these. You know what? I wonder what the what the tentacles are about. That's what I'm thinking. It could just be some kind of symbolism. There's so many of them. Okay, I think it's down here. Can I talk to those guys? No. Did he say this is prime real estate? Dumb. After Sweetheart aired her final episode, some sprout moles are starting to move back to the colonies. What the fuck are you? My friends are slowly returning. Well, at least most of them. This is prime real estate. I don't know how I feel about having a roommate. I hope they will wash my dishes for me. I don't know how I feel about having a roommate. I hope they will buy groceries for me. I don't know how I feel about having a new roommate. I hope they will fold the laundry for me. They're dumb. Greetings, traveler. Welcome to my home. It is humble and small, but it is mine. Many were lost in the second great move, but sacrifices must be made for progress. Shit, he's in this fucking hidden ladder room. <sighs> huh? What's that? You have a package for me? 
You gave the care package to Brother Mole. Hey, this is from my brother. Wow, there's 99 tofu in here. This is the best gift ever. Gift ever, excuse me. Sniff. He knows me so well. Thanks for the delivery. You know, I was saving this for a rainy day, but now that I have my care package, I won't need it anymore. He just gave you life jam? Mmm, slurp tofu. So good. So when that sound happens, that means the quest is over. Or do I need to go back to the original quest giver now? I think it's over too. I'll go talk to Mary. I guess I hadn't talked to her here. <laughs> so, Basil, Ghost Party, Pessy's thing, and BED. God damn, I wonder how BED works. What, what do I need for BED? Is it an item? Is it a thing, like a special thing I need to find? Is it just something I need to buy? cool that you can like read everything that you've done you have to talk to the sprout mole mayor isn't that the guy we killed didn't we kill him like at the beginning of the entire game I don't know if he was the mayor. I think he was like the king or something. <clears throat> yeah, he was the elder. We need to talk to the mayor. Who I have to imagine is in this castle. Or, you know, not in the castle, but near it. I would very much like to complete most of these side quests before I get in there. Yeah, I'm kind of torn between the, the wall weapons being like... It's definitely either a really crazy secret where you have to find like a weapon or... I think it's, it's also possible that it's just... Um, it's also possible that it is nothing or in or like a lore implication or something. know where the mayor is
I wonder if when I'm not hero, the conversation is different. Oh no, it's just Hero again, trying to compromise. I just thought, since it was Hero-specific dialogue, that it might have been because he's the one initiating the conversation. <laughs> Do I have any tofu on me? I do now. Christmas is ruined, to be fair. The mayor, dude? Like, who? who is the mayor? It's not this guy. I mean, like, I get the implications of that room. With, like, the skeletons and one of them has a bow on them. Like, I understand that. It just feels like... I don't know, you have a secret room, you gotta put something in there. You know? Especially if there's, like, well, there's one weapon missing? Like, what's that about? Wake the fuck up. I'm pretty sure I've been everywhere that sprout moles exist. <clears throat> That's possible, I guess. Missed the path? You mean this way? Oh my god. Blast, where in the world is my good for nothing son? Last night I asked him to analyze the effects of my latest invention, the BED, and I'm no long and I'm longing to hear the results. I hope he's not doing what I think he's doing. Egad, careful child, you could have ruined an incredibly delicate concoction. If the measurements for this experiment are not 110% accurate, the chemical reaction may cause an explosion with enough force to destroy this entire village. Seems like you shouldn't do that here. What am I cutting? I guess, okay. Orange juice, combo meal, life jam. Okay. Dum -ba -da -dum -bum. 
bedman is down this way again, I think. All this training has made me so hungry. I really wish I had some tofu right now. Oh, is this going to wake him up? In return, here's my most prized possession. A big air horn. Huh. Hmm. I wonder if it's this. Could it be this? Who are you? Oh no, I'm late. Could it be that I... No. I must have overslept. But sprout moles don't oversleep. This BED, it's powerful. Maybe even too powerful. I'd better tell dad about this. Oh my god, this is the longest quest chain in history. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I really like this song. Dad, dad, I'm here. How did I beat him here? By the gods, son, where have you been? I... I'm afraid I have some terrible news. What is it, son? You know you can tell me anything. Last night, while I was testing the BED, I... I... I overslept. No, it can't be! If what you said is true, then... All my research, this invention, the BED, it's all too powerful. You see, my theory was that a BED would help sprout moles gain a good night's rest and thus gain productivity throughout the day, but what good is it if the very same invention causes sprout moles to lose productivity instead? The BED has the potential for greatness, but the, the current risk is too high. By the gods, what have I done? I cannot unleash this dangerous technology upon the world, lest our humble village might never wake up again. Hey, you there, child. Take this bed away from us. We have no use for this, for such power. You got a BED. Now be gone and speak not of what you saw here today. Isn't it N-A-U-G-H-T? Whatever. Oh, wait, yeah. I got to talk to the sketchy guy now. Do my eyes deceive me? I don't believe it. It's a BED. A real, genuine, bona fide BED. I'm going to use it right this second. Hey, what are you doing? We helped you. You should help us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with all the attitude? It may not seem like it, but I'm a mole of my word. Now, you didn't hear this from me, but earlier, I believe I may have seen a sprout mole with a, pig, a big pink bow digging through poor old Pessy's pockets. A sprout mole with a big pink bow? That sounds like Rosa. The menace Rosa is at it again. Come on, Omori. We gotta make her hand over Pessy's thing no matter what. Here we go. This is so long. This is the longest quest. I think it's in here. Rosa, the jig is up. Why are you here? I'm angry. Go away. Thanks to you, my dear sweetheart ran away with that blasted Captain Space Boy again. <sighs> sweetheart was only a few doors away, but now she's flown galaxies away. How will I follow her now? Looks like I can fly to you. Or does it look like I can fly to you? I I don't know if that was really our fault. Rosa, we know you stole Pessy's thing. Now give it back. This again? Why are you always after my sweetheart merchandise? I found it fair and square, so it's finders keepers. Don't worry, guys. Let me handle this. Hey, Rosa. Why don't you why don't you and I try to work something out? Ew, no, I don't want to hear it. There's no way that I'm giving you the most valuable new addition to my collection. Now get out of my house! What the fuck am I supposed to do now? Yeah, <laughs> Rose is being difficult again, huh? Figures, she's always been like that. Here, 
Take this and show it to her. There's no way that she'll refuse you after seeing this. Oh, shit. Now leave me and my new BED alone. Our business is done here. Holy shit. I'm tired. I didn't know this was going to be the longest quest in the game. Back again? <laughs> you amuse me. Such a fruitless effort. Step aside, guys. I'll deal with her. Wait, Kel. It's true that Rosa is a real pain, but I have some serious issues with using blackmail as a means to... Hey, Rosa! Check this out! Kel pulled out the blackmail. Well, where did you get that? I've, I've changed my mind. Please, kind sir, I'll give you anything you want. Just politely hand over that blackmail at once. Ah, yes, you wanted Pessy's thing, right? Fine, whatever. Take it, it's yours. Now give me that blackmail. Hurry up and do it! You traded blackmail for Pessy's thing. Oh my god. It was really blackmail. I'm going to need you to get out of my house now. You already got what you wanted, didn't you? Now scram. Scram, I say. This is insane. I'm not familiar with what you're talking about, Silver Golden. Bro. Oh, you found it. My precious thing. You gave Pessy's thing to Pessy. Thank you. <sighs> I say, thank you. I say again. In return for your selfless deed, I bestow upon you the ultimate gift. You've got a sweetheart bust. Ah, isn't it beautiful? May it fill you with joy for the rest of your days. What an insane, insane amount of work this was. Is it a fucking weapon? Oh my fucking god. He loses like all of her speed, but she gets a lot of attack. That's interesting. That's wild. And it also lowers her chance to hit. That's fucking insane. Well, I don't know. I don't know about all that, but... If we ever want to turn her into, like, a DPS, we could do that, I guess. That's insane. We've made good progress. I'll say that. So we are literally only missing one of the ghosts and Basil. So oh, tomorrow, I think I will backtrack and find that ghost. I'm pretty sure that I know where they are. Like, not consciously. Like, I think I've I've seen them. I think I've seen one more ghost. Um. But I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. I, I did just save, right? Like, just now. Just gonna double save. Doubling up on it. Alright. Oh, man. I am tired it has been a good day of omori thank you guys for hanging out for it it's been it's been real nice so i guess not tomorrow but um on tuesday I, I will continue this and we should finish it on tuesday or wednesday i'll probably i'll probably schedule it for two days next week to be safe and then if we beat it Tuesday, then I'll just do something else Wednesday. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm thinking Tuesday next week. Because that's what well, that's what day we did it this week. So, I don't know. I don't know. We might do something else. Who knows? 
Uh, we got who we got online. We got Tyrolean. Oh my god! Imagine not hosting him as fast as humanly possible. We're gonna we're gonna raid up old old Tyrolean. I haven't seen a Tyrolean stream in so long. He is a beautiful man, a great man. Uh, he's basically hero from this game. If if they were to exist in reality, in real life, um, so go show him some love. Uh, and oh, okay. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't remember what I scheduled tomorrow, but it's probably cool if I'm doing it. So I'll see you then. And more Omori next week. We'll finish it up, hopefully. <laughs> I gotta imagine. Uh, yeah, thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Uh, if you feel like it, spam some hearts in Trollian's chat if you want to raid. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you soon. Have a good night, y'all.